Hail and well met. I am Mr. Eager DM at your service, and we welcome you, one and all, to Trapped at Home, a live stream Dungeons and Dragons broadcast presented by Lawful Stupid RPG. Tonight, we bring you session 13 of our playthrough of Baldur's Gate, Descent into Avernus, the 13th session on the 13th of July. Yes. The 13th of July. Cue the TPK. <laughs> Joining us as always, we have Typhon the Wizard, Rim the Ranger, Persephone the Bard, Falcron the Cleric, Jax the Rogue, and Silas the Paladin Fighter. Rim the Ranger will be joining us later. He uh, got stuck at a doctor's appointment that it went over long, but he should be with us before too much time has passed. Lost um, track of time. Indeed. Um, thank you, as always, to you, the viewer. I think we can all agree that this year has been a real pain in the ass so far. If being here watching us forget about our troubles for a while helps you forget about yours, please consider it our deepest honor and pleasure to provide said distraction. Jade, what news from the land of lawful stupid? The lands of lawful stupid. Um, there was no air off Sunday because, sadly... Um, uh, one of one of them could make it, and it's an important part of the story. So we decided to wait till all of us are there. Should be this Sunday. Um, we have got announcements coming up with uh, regarding sponsorship. We just haven't. I need to sort of put the, all the, the details down. Get with Sean and get with anyone else that's obviously interested, like Peter and stuff. Um, we should have ex some exciting news coming about that soon as well. Um, we have eventually got a podcast coming, and this is. This, there's two parts to this because obviously I've been asking different people, but Mark is thinking about running Dragon Lance First Edition, like, but actually play the characters for a podcast. So we're going to be looking for people to play certain characters soon for that. So um, that, and we've also got another podcast. Hopefully, when I get to people to regarding that as well, and Pete, I'll allow Peter to mention the other crap show. I mean, the good show. What one's that, Peter? <laughs> Oh boy, <laughs> things will go what up a, for you. What a setup, Friday. Friday. That's great. No, it's um, a great, great show. Great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I Friday forgot, night, yeah. we have missed opportunities where we are uh, running through the hardcover Curse of Strahd. It's oh. very, um, it's dark though. It is uh, infused with plenty of humor and hijinks to counteract the sort of creepy nature. So uh, it's a lot of fun. So come around on yeah. Friday evening. Wacky horror. Yeah, I was joking. By uh, the way, we have got we got some great shows on here. They're very, very good. Very good players as well. I'm enjoying my time playing D and D again. <clears throat> so yeah, that's, that's the only thing I've really got announcements. Um, Discord's been a bit quiet, but obviously we're looking to rebuild. So um, if you're interested in joining Discord, come and join the Discord and start getting some games going again. So that'll be quite quite good. Very good. That's what I say. Well, all right. Uh, one announcement from the DM's chair. Um, you may ask. How did we get here? Where did Jax find his spectacles? Is Punto Reverso really a wine brand? If you burn to know the answers to these questions, I don't blame you. Cool your fervor and check out Lawful Stupid's YouTube page to watch past sessions. Click, like, subscribe. For every subscription we get on YouTube and on Twitch, a PC will die a horrible death for a viewing pleasure. <coughs> Um, subscribe for the fun. Oh, God. Um, questions, comments, announcements from anyone? Shakespearean insults? Uh, oh, it, that is the how question. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> oh, don't put so much pressure on me. <laughs> All right, my friends. Yeah. Good I luck. Okay. <laughs> my friends, my friends, it is time. I extend my hand, inviting you to step with me into fantasy. Release that which you know to be true, and let imagination rule for the next few hours. Last time, the adventurers, having defended Baldur's Gate from dead three cultists, devils, and desperate men, 
began their assault on the Van Thampur villa, hoping to find the root of the city's troubles, discover what has become of El Torel's overseer Thavius Krieg, and put an end to the Van Thampurs once and for all. After gaining entry and making short work of his imps and guards, the adventurers found the reclusive and frail first twelve Van Thampur and made a quick end of him. Secreted away in a chest in his room, they found an enigmatic puzzle box, which originated from the Nine Hells. More devils awaited them below Van Thampur Villa, where it seems part of the city's sewer system has been cordoned off and transformed into a temple to a dark entity. The spine devils and cultists further taxed the adventurers' resources, and they decided to risk a short rest. Now, they sit in a bizarre circle, seven comrades, seemingly floating in nothingness, the respite hidden by Rim's rote trick spell while Persephone plays a calming melody on her lute. Adventurers, what do you do? And we're out of the... We will rope, start so. within. Okay, we're in it. Okay. Anybody has anything they would wish to discuss or do? I'm concerned that we shouldn't tarry too long. I we agree. have basically assaulted this house and we're hiding for a moment. But I... how long until anything that we would be looking for is gone? I agree. Or hey. anyone. There's is everyone no rested? Waste. Yes, I'm feeling ready to go. I think it would be in our best interest to look for a different exit, if one exists. We may have had a bit of luck and they're cutting our way out. If we're able to find another way out of this place, we may find less resistance than even before. Might, I say. Suppose we well, can keep our eye out. Well, when it comes to finding secret doors, I am of no help at all. We know. That's okay with what Me we either. have facts for. Oh, okay. <laughs> just keep the goblin alive. <laughs> nah. Yes, you know, that's a good Jax idea. Just, keep me alive. If Jax would just climb on your shoulders, Falkrin, you'd be a juggernaut. You could see everything, and you could kill everything. No. And my legs wouldn't hurt as much. That is correct, yeah. I mean, it might be better than keeping him in your backpack. I feel like the backpack has been a solid tactic. Oh, yes, but there's no more food in there. You ate all my rations. They were yours? Mark it's them off. Backpack. They're in my backpack! <laughs> <That's> a, <laughs> no, they're not. <laughs> well, not anymore. <laughs> As uh, a we, is, aren't we surrounded by raw meat in this room? Yeah. Well, yes, you are, except uh, in within the rope trick nether space, there is no raw meat, except that which you brought with you. Right, but <laughs> <laughs> there's, all, there, there's immediate, immediately accessible raw meat outside the... Uh, True. The demi plane we're sitting on. I, I have this picture which, of this little goblin hand reaching out <laughs> <laughs> space. <laughs> <laughs> uh, there's got to be a head popping out first. It's like cutting a little bit of shank. Like Ugh. I've still got a little bit of ham. I'm just not munching on. All right. One important um, point here. Um, Falkman, when you did your channel divinity to uh, heal Silas, that mm -hmm. was before you realized that we were about to do a short rest. If mm -hmm. you like, you may have that back. Yes. We will subtract the hit points from Silas, who has benefited oh, from the short rest. Uh, and but, you... but Sean, I, be I believe I recover my channel divinity on a short rest. You know what? You do. Eh, never mind then. So you get it back. Like, but it like, was so, Sean being nice. I was like, so I do get rules. it back. But also, my friends are still okay, right? <laughs> <laughs> well, let's put it this, you, this way. You... You are able to spread that out amongst other people, correct? Yes. Yeah. So perhaps you would like to have the option to do that with the first one rather than using it all on Silas if there's more healing to spread around. I give you that option. Hmm. I 
I, th- I think with the, sh- I mean, has, has everyone else sort of, we, sh- we should all be looking okay at this point. Yeah. I think everyone's okay, full. Yeah. I think I'm Silas, out. Silas is four hit points off. That's it. Yeah. All right. So, yeah. So I'll, I'll stick with my original decision and that will be on my tombstone. All right. I mean, he did give up being a paladin <laughs> for you, so. I mean, yeah, there's I that. knew what I was doing the whole time. <laughs> yeah. This Maybe is a great plan. Peace. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Very well. An hour passes. Persephone plays on her lute, calming melody. And Rim informs you the spell is about to end. You can sense that the space you're in is beginning to contract, and you had better be out of it when it ceases to exist. He points to a discoloration on the floor, and he throws a rope down, and it spirals down into the room, and one by one, you all climb back into the cellar of Bantampur Villa. Descent into a freezer. Mm-hmm. Ah, mm-hmm. uh, meat. <laughs> <laughs> Van Thampors, we have the beefs. I, uh, <laughs> oh, oh, oh. I feel Fal- Falcon's backpack full of meat. Yeah. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> sure. You know what? I'll... There's plenty. Yeah, yeah. Um, There's uh, beef and hog. Oh, what, is hog hog. Ma? <laughs> <laughs> what is more? What is more? Did we close the door? We did, right? We yes, yes, I believe we yeah. We're smart. Things like that, I'm willing to let go. You didn't close the door. Oh shoot! <laughs> um, that's how the ogre got in. It's right. like what? Come it on! It appears that there is nothing here, other than yourselves. There is. Apparently, no one in here with you, and also apparently no one has been in here since you've been gone. Well, I know it seems empty now, but we should assume that the entire guard and everything is alerted to our presence. Yeah, we weren't terribly subtle on our entrance, no, so... We should probably proceed as though we are about to be attacked. No surprises. Absolutely. Speaking of which, Jax, would you mind checking the door? Which door? Oh, this one. The, yeah. yeah. <laughs> the, well, the, the one old... we come in, I'll check it for traps. Right. <laughs> I'll see that perception check, please. Or investigation, I'm sorry, with advantage because of your glasses. 19. 19. This door is not trapped. Was it when you came in? And it wasn't now. And it isn't now. Uh, can we pers- uh, I'm looking to listen to see if there's any sort of sounds coming from the hallway, Sean, like running or anything of the sort. Or Make just- a perception check. Lovely. Oh, do I hear anything either as well? And 17. Uh, a 10. Mm. Hmm. That's a good point. Let me make a roll, Jax. You because, hear something yeah. far away. You hear something that sounds like a. It echoes from some other part of this area. It sounds like something. You can't tell if it's roaring or yelling or Jax, what, is but that it doesn't sound, sound man. Doesn't sound happy. Uh, there's definitely something I can hear. Something. It's not your stomach, but it's not. Let me listen, and I'll try to put close. my head down um, to my stomach. Falkran, you hear you you hear this as well, by the way. It's definitely not Jax's stomach. I, I know that sound well. It could be. It does sound far away. It doesn't sound like it's in the hall outside from where you are. Doesn't sound like it's. Um, doesn't sound like it's within 150 to 250 feet of you. Okay, S- Sean, I'm gonna. Uh, I'm gonna. Op- I'm gonna. Falker's gonna open the door and walk through uh, out into the hallway and see if she can't get a bead on which direction the sound seems to be coming from. Um, it seems to be coming from further down. Towards where the cultists were during Indeed. the last session. Okay. All right, so she's 
gonna I'm gonna look over my shoulder and kind of point down the the sewer way towards where I think the sound is coming from. Jim, did we see this location or this location here? Uh, they're kind of blacked out on my screen. I, I'm just wondering if. Um, yes, you did. Of course, as you went around the corner, you did see first of all that this is in fact a corner. Okay. Ah. And you saw that this appeared to be a dead end. Hmm. Like a, the sewer just straight up stopped there. It looks like it's been specifically designed to be the end of the line here. Uh, like someone has come along and bricked it up. All right, friends. Uh, shall, we, shall we continue on? Ciao. Into the depths. All right. So as you walk I'm a little going further to go there, ahead and proceed. Silas. Yep. I proceed uh, to the west, right? Something soggy mm -hmm. waffles. Mm -hmm. um, so you see a door to your north there. And I remind you, of course, that as you go along the sewers here, the inside interior is uh, a little rivulet of water and the either side of it can, is traversable. I'm going to listen at the double doors to see if I can hear anything. Very good. Roll a perception check, please. I will listen I'm to this. Sure, I can have time. the first critical fail of the game. Oh. Oh! oh. Critical Crit success. Oh. How did I do that? I, I can hear the good. door. I can, I can hear the, the door itself. What else can I hear? First of all, with a 21, when the natural 20 rolled, um, you see. Uh, very meticulously um, carved into this door with a chisel, very precise and clean in something in Infernal. I can't you read Infernal? this. Okay. It's... What does I, I could read it? I'm standing right next to him. Typhon, can you read this? Yeah, by sort of moving and getting a, a bead on it to very sorry, you can see it. It says that which falls can rise again over these well, doors. Very, of course. What very does it say, fancy doors. And upon the middle of it, right in the center, is a black circle with gold nine pointed star. It forms a little seal on the door. There's a, there's a, a seam in the middle. The doors look like they do open, but the circle splits it. So and. Silas, with your perception roll, you hear this. You have been well compensated for your past services, and your promises of future deeds do not interest me. This conversation concerns your current failures. Your anger is just dread, General. I have greatly misjudged the forces that have stood against me. I thought the threat of the Dragon Queen's servants was paramount, but I was wrong. These operatives of the Flaming Fist, they seem so paltry. Please, allow me to rectify my error. There's a pause. You are in luck, Thalamra Van Dampur. An opportunity to prove that you are worthy of my favor will be upon you soon. Destroy your enemies. Impress me. And I shall grant you another opportunity to bestow the fate of El Terrell upon Baldur's Gate. And then silence. In the meantime, I believe Jax and I were listening at the door to the north. Uh, perception checks, please. Uh, Could I ask before we move on? We don't recognize any of those voices. Yeah. Um, well, what is your passive perception? Uh, 15. 19. Right. Well, of course, obviously, Jax, you probably heard whispering and something being said in the other room as well. Um, we'll say that Silas was the only one who heard all of the exchange. You heard perhaps a word or two. Um, there does not appear to be any 
sounds coming from that room, Falker. And wow, another say, natural as 20 I, in perception. As I, as, I, as I nat 20 that with my plus 7 to perception for 27. Guys, save these for later. And I'm just like, Shh, guys, I'm not hearing anything. Uh, I'm too busy trying to think what it says at the door. It clearly says door. No, it's some sort of ancient language. I think it says push. So sure. you, you hear absolutely nothing coming from the door to the north. Uh-huh. And on Silas, I assume you inform the party what you have heard. Uh, I actually pantomime. I go. There's a talking rabbit in that room. <laughs> Is he taking the mickey out of me? I, I, no. Angry. Bad guy. Rabbit. Oh, oh, Dev, that makes way more sense. Does... Playing Pac-Man. <laughs> does the nine-pointed symbol look like a some sort of arcane lock or just decoration for the door? Um, Make an arcana check. Okay. Uh, where'd my character sheet go? Here we go. <laughs> Um, this is a Arcana. very low DC. Uh, yeah, there's 15. Yeah, the um, it is very nice. It could certainly be used as part of an arcane lock spell. However, this is just decoration. So, and so I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna lock eyes with Silas and then be like so and then I'm gonna point to the my the door by that Jackson and I are standing by and go. Oh, and then point to the door by him. No, I definitely don't see a door there that needs opening. We could check the other doors, I think. That couldn't hurt anything. Famous I, last words. I whisper to Typhon quickly what I heard so that okay. he could quickly relay it to everyone else. Um, <clears throat> okay, I will look around. I will uh, use minor illusion to paint a uh, picture of a large signpost that says our target is inside point with a with an arrow pointing towards Mm, mm, uh, mm, mm. i say i will say uh and then it will also say um thalam ravan thampur and another devilish voice a fine use of minor illusion it's good it's a good one oh I, I write shock and awe question mark. So mm-hmm. shall we try the other doors? <laughs> Jax is nodding furiously. So, <laughs> so Jax is down for chucking the other doors because Falkrin's all about I, I was thinking this is taking care of you know, the demon in the room. Oh, no, no. Yeah. No, we don't do No, no. I, I wave everybody over to this door, to this big double door that's ornate with carving and symbols. Oh, I definitely don't voices. see a door there. I'm sorry, Silas. <laughs> the more um, interesting one. I walk over to the more interesting door, and I kind of shrug at Jax. And I now that everybody's over here, I I, Rhea I, I Rhea wave Rhea. Rim and Rhea to, for them to hold the back mm-hmm. to go ranged. I don't tell Rhea that someone just said that this place would be the same as El Terrell. I don't tell her that part. Okay. That would be too much to communicate. Uh, yeah. But I tell everyone else, I'm going to absolutely rush in and target the biggest, baddest that I can. All right. I'll go you. check these other doors in. This, is where, this is where Sean goes, <laughs> it's locked. <laughs> <laughs> or or draft. So who is opening the door? As Actually, let, let Typhon open so I can rush. Okay. And then as and maybe- uh, as Typhon opens, I'm going to rush. I'll rush side by side with Silas, and I'm going to cut into what would be the inside right. And so that way I'm clearing the way. It doesn't seem to have a mechanism to close, right? It's just the symbol, like they would just, just push open? Yep, they just yep. push open. Okay. Um, in that case, for my 
uh, with that idea, I will just push one side of the door open. If another one, another person wants to do the same, I'll, I'll push the other side. Ready to engage. All right, the door reaching open, maneuver here. The doors doors open soundlessly on well oiled hinges. And what do and we you, see? You step in, but in spite of yourself, you have to stumble to a stop. This chamber is quite large and well lit. Eight stone pillars hold aloft a 20-foot ceiling of brick, and the walls are decorated with nine tapestries, each depicting locations of gruesome horror and despair. On the floor in front of you, a large onyx symbol of Asmodeus has been inlaid into the floor, and surrounding it is a thick stain of crusted blood. There are eight candelabras, each holding nine candles that brightly illumine this otherwise empty room. Empty, that is, except for the enormous winged statue at the far end. It depicts a celestial being, a glowing halo atop her head, and her eyes concealed under a blindfold. Her hands are at her chest holding the hilt of a downward-facing longsword. From beneath the blindfold, light streams out. The statue forms both the ninth pillar and the ninth light source in this room. At its feet, watching you as you enter, stands Thalamra Van Thampur. As she speaks, she begins rolling up her sleeves. Welcome. I am Duke Thalamra Van Thampur. <laughs> I have my son Thirstwell to thank for knowing anything about you. He tried to warn me when you first began to meddle in my plans, but I didn't listen. Fortunately, he took enough initiative to provide me with some protection should you find your way here. She raises her hand pulling something from her waist. It appears to be a cat o' nine tails with sickly green ethereal lashes that seem to gently float in an invisible breeze. Stop where you are unless you wish them to suffer. She grips the haft of the whip tightly and on the far side of each of the pillars, figures who have been tied with their arms around them, hanging six inches off of the ground. Beneath them, pools of blood. You see Doran Freeporter. Oh, man. Sissa Elmsweet. A Terry Steelharl. Onan Steel Hollow. Oh my God. Tarina. And an elf that only one of you has seen before. Andralor. Surrender now, or you will all die painfully. Well, surrender sounds good. What do you do? Um, can can I see? look briefly and try to discern if this is some type of illusion? Um, sure. Can you read out the role to me? I'm a taking care of some other stuff here. What type of role would you like to... Oh, um... that's a good question. Um, <clears throat> I would say Arcana, I think. Okay. I'm Although closest I here. I think so it's I'll... just a, if you're like, if you're, if you are, if you're detecting that this is a illusion, I think there is, an, I think it's an investigation check. Oh, if okay. you think it's an illusion, so make an investigation check. 
Ooh, I have a oh. nine. Nine or... Um, it certainly appears to be real. Uh, and can we... Th- from what we see, they are still alive. Like, clearly. Make a perception check. Um, ten. So, um, you can see the rise and fall of breath coming from Torin and from Sissa, but for the rest, it's too hard to see. Okay. I mean, it's it's well lit, but they're just they're too far away. Your adrenaline is pumping too hard. I cry out. Based on your evil, we would all be dead anyway, as would they. Have at thee. Oh. I was going to ask if I could Very sink, good. slink off into the darkness. Nope. <laughs> there is. I, I, have trouble, dark... I have trouble believing the Dax actually made it into the room. There's. Um... I did say I was going in the room. I said that off the other way. <laughs> um. Oh, very well. You don't wish to no, be. In, who does not I'm wish joking. to be in the room? I'm joking. That's a perfectly valid point. I just put you all in here, and, and incidentally, ah. you should adjust your hit points accordingly. I want to be um, in the room where it happens. <laughs> <So>. <laughs> Indeed. Um, all right. Well, with that, Silas, you have initiated combat, and what's that mean? Well, it means. We should roll initiative. Ooh. Yay! Dun, 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 Did mine even go on there? Nice. Time. Well, nicely done, Persephone, with a hey, 21. 21. Typical rubbish. Uh, it looks as if we have a... Oh, I do need to roll for one... Uh, rim one and Rhea. Rim and one Rhea. All right. Yep. So we'll take right. care of. This will be a little tricky. Bam for me, fellas. They can have my twenty-three that I accidentally rolled as well. So yeah, you I did. didn't see Absolutely. if Falkran made it on. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, I'm, I'm in the. I'm. I saw Are that I rolled, but I'm not seeing myself in the turn order. <sighs> All right. Try to take click, care. Click me, on your me. token and then hit your initiative again. All right. Oh yeah. Yeah. Do that trick. Let me um. Sean, those are my parents, right? I they forgot. Are your parents. Yeah, yes. Okay. I just wanted to make sure I knew their first names. <laughs> mom, <laughs> dad. mom and dad. <laughs> is, that, is that really you? All about the backstory here. Yeah. All right, no, no. Um, oh, all right, yes. I'm, I'm, don't, I'm back. Don't what I care for here. Goodbye, goodbye guys. <laughs> and then, You're helping. Uh, yeah, yeah. There's no one that you care for. So yeah. yeah. And then tied to one pole is a ham sandwich. Oh, you. <laughs> Oh, you had to pull up my heartstrings. <laughs> you <laughs> bastards. Don't hurt it. No. Not the sandwich. All right. I'm finally getting Rim character sheet up. Samus, where are you? Your friends need you. Oh, my gosh. Just as long as, as you playing him can still ro- roll that massive bow. No promises. Uh. What? I, I can do it. I can do it so if you like. I've got slow. Okay, sure, and I've got enough is. screens if you want me to do it. Do you, um, want, do you want me to do Samus? No, no, that's all right. right. I got it. Let's see if I can make it work. Yes, it did. Huzzah! Hello, hello. And so now everyone is up. There it is. Right. The turn up. order. <laughs> Wow, Typhon, once again, you are first. Okay. Killer, one shot. Do it. For, uh, well, <laughs> uh, um, the first thing I will do is reach out in front of me, and my hands will kind of pull as if I am reaching and pulling like a, a heavy rope or something out of the ground, and the bricks underneath will buckle and split, and a tendril of earth like a snake will try to serpent around her. I I will have it emerge from the ground to her left and try to wrap around her. Uh, This is uh, earthen Maximilian's Maximilian's earthen grasp. Very good. Typhon's earthen grasp, really. I think I closed 
beyond 20 by accident or roll 20 by accident. So. What does, um, what is a, what a, strength, is she, saving throw. a strength saving throw? Very well. You just cast the spell and then you're out. Click, done. <laughs> right. <laughs> All as, right. So as, you said as music left. stopped for everyone else. Yes. Okay. There's no music. Yes. Oh, yeah. I hear music. I hear music. Does everyone else hear music? I, hear music. I mean, I, I always hear something, but in the context of this game, those voices don't matter. You hear now? Yeah, they just came Yes, back. there it is. It just came back, I should say. All right. So yeah. that little red thing there will be the um will still, be the uh I still don't have it. Maximilian thing until Got I can it. find a better one. Maybe I need to refresh. Um very good. So her save was a seventeen. Oh, she succeeds. Very well. Next up, uh, unless you wish to move. Yes, I will move behind here to take partial cover here. Very good. And I will um, do the owl thing. Do the owl, owl thing. Very good. Retreat back to there after. Very good. That brings us to Persephone. It locked me I out. Roll twenty. 20 just popped out yeah it, uh, it locked me out yep. of roll 20 as well yeah i i actually logged myself out and when i came back in the music's there so i think we all got glitched out but i glitched out i'm okay. back now you should be able to log right back in but now the world's uh, seen my password yeah same happened to me i mean don't go um, signing into right. hacking us guys she's hacking us it's meta it's all <laughs> part of the plan is this psychic damage Yep. <laughs> when things don't work in the roll 20, it's psychic damage. I'm going to run damage. to here. Um, okay. And I'm trying to see if it's like rope that they're tied with that maybe I could just slash. Well, as you're running past um, Doran, uh -huh. um, you do get a pretty good look at it. It appears to be rope just from a, a cursory glance. Okay. Um, I'm going to uh, use my attack to just try and use my rapier to shove it inside between the rope and the and the column and okay um roll an attack please great uh, uh 17. 17 hits however four is not enough damage especially piercing damage okay. is not enough damage to cut this it, it you think oh well it's just a piece of rope and you start to work at it and it it actually appears to be some sort of sinew Oh, Some kind of sick. creature's tendon that has been pulled and stretched and turned into some sort of uh, bindings. Um, and as you're close to um, to Doran, you can see that there seems to be a slight greenish glow around his face. Okay. Um, I'm going to use my dagger attack to try and do it again to see if I can... Because it didn't. it's not rope, but it seemed to do a little damage. Yes, yeah. it did. Okay. Well, you did. You did something to it. Okay. Um, Doran is unconscious. Okay. Um, I'm gonna take my dagger and uh, I rolled for 18 with six again piercing though. Okay. 18 is a hit. Six piercing. All right. It is still holding on. Okay. Is it like, like did I get halfway hmm? through it? Did I get any sense of how? You are making progress. Okay, great. Thank you. All right. That is Persephone done, which brings us to initiative roll 20. Philamra. <laughs> Snaps her fingers, and there's a... <sighs> Sounds like a thousand people exhaling at once, and one by one, the lights in this room go out. Man, I'm such a human without dark vision. There's so uh -huh. many that that really, that finishes in about a couple minutes, right, Sean? Is that what you mean? Hmm? Just kidding. <laughs> it is magical darkness. Oh. No one can see. Even with people Man. with darkness. Even people with dark sight, no one can see. The only light that you can see is somehow the light burning from the statues beneath the blindfold and the statue's eyes. You can see it coming through, piercing the gloom, but it's just a reference point 
letting you know where the front of the room is. Um, and behind you, you hear a and the door shuts. Who has to spell magic? Use that. That is number 20. Duke the Lamra of Antampur goes on 18. You have no idea where she is or what she's doing. However, two streaks of power come striking out at Falkron. Hitting AC 25. Oh my. Nine force damage. All right. Hitting AC 9. That does not hit. All right. That is the end of her turn. Next up, we have Rhea Mantelmorn. Rhea says, what? What's happening? I, I can't see anything. And she begins to sort of feel around. No one can see what she's doing. She seems to be walking away from the group. Okay, that brings us to Jax. Hmm. I... The last time he was aware, he looked in the room and could see the pillars. So I'm going to mm -hmm. head down and left and try to find the pillar. All right. While we are in this magical darkness, this is the rules we will be abiding by. If you move at half speed, this represents you feeling around, reaching for people, reaching for the candelabras, reaching for the pillars. Um, you are able to make your way at half speed. If you wish to go faster than half speed, anyone whose passive perception is below 15 will need to roll a percentile dice, getting better than a 65. So getting, yeah, so if you if you roll lower than a 65, then you are fine. Yeah. If your uh, passive perception is 15 or higher, you need to roll lower than 85. If you fail on either of those rolls, then you run into something and have to make a deck save or fall prone. Oh, it's got to go normal speed. Normal speed. All right. So please roll a percentile die. Well, oh, for God's sake. 90. You... Uh, you think, oh, I think it's over this way. And he, you start to run, and you run smack dab into a pillar. Please roll a dexterity saving throw. Found it. <laughs> Wait, Sean, didn't you say... 21. Hmm? 21. Yeah, the... you, you, you succeeded your dex save, Jax. What was the question? Um... I, I'm sorry, I, I think I misheard. So I thought uh, the you you have... So if you we've move got over a 15% half... foul chance instead of a 25 right. Right. That's what it is. Yeah. Okay. And now I found it, I'm going to sort of hunker down and try to hide. A disadvantage, please. Because of the darkness, you require sight to be able to effectively hide. Twelve. Very good. Can you tell me if you are running to the left or to the right? As we look at the page, it will be on the right. So the character's right. left. Very good. Yeah, someone, Page left. Someone that is the end of Jax's turn. You, yes. Unless you wish to try to make an attack. Um, yeah, can I shoot where I last saw her? Sure. I knew she was roughly around here. It's Don't it's just it's just at disadvantage. You're disadvantage. using your perception. You're listening. You're doing everything you can to make it. She has a high AC because of the darkness, and you have a disadvantage to hit. Okay. I roll with disadvantage. Nineteen. 19 19 hits nice and has she seen me uh yes oh that's a shame 10 damage it's a concentration spell mm. uh please it's make a her. dexterity save who me please make a dexterity save yes Jax. 20 nice. 20 um so you take seven points of fire damage from thalamra's hellish rebuke oh, oh wow okay and that's so that what range is on Hellish of, Rebuke? Um, it is 60 feet. Oh, wow. Okay. So how many points, sorry? Seven. Seven. I think I'm on fire. <laughs> <laughs> that is the end of Jax's turn. Rim uh, walks somewhere slowly. 
He heard the blast come from somewhere. He tries to take a bead on it with a normal arrow. Um, and he will take his three shots. All crits. Well, mm. he mm, he missed with one. He hit with two. Nice, uh, wow. Rim. So that's really good rolling. Um, okay, good to know. That brings us to. Hulkrun. All right, so Sean, mm -hmm. I, I know Toll of the Dead is supposed to be a like sight spell, but because she just got hit, also just shot me, like, can I. Can I throw it out to see if it gets her? You need to be able to see the target. And so sight has to, okay. So it's not like with a with a melee right. attack. Okay, no. then I'm gonna it's, go it's ahead. It's not a spell attack, correct? Uh, no, it's just a wisdom save. Wisdom, yeah. yeah, so yeah, yeah, yep, yep, yep. cool, cool, cool. All right, so uh, then I'm gonna go ahead and try to move towards where I last saw Sissa uh, okay. to to check on her to make sure that she's like alive and like. And then once I get to her, I'm going to go ahead and try to use uh, Quietus to cut her bindings. All right. So please, are you moving at full speed? Um, yes. Okay. I Roll a am. percentile, please. Lovely. All right. Percentile. Um, all right, gents, how do we do this in... Um, well, I guess if I just... Slash roll. Yeah. D100. 1D100. There it is. All right. So, more importantly, is Swizzles an American company? Because if they are, can they like sponsor us with love hearts, free love hearts for all of our streams? I've never heard of that. I think candy, that's so. the uh, British version of Smarties. Yeah. Is it? Yeah. Oh, okay. Waiting on that percentile there. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm... yeah. There. there we go. A uh, twenty-nine. You have succeeded. Haha, ha, I'm so successful. So you make your way to where you thought you saw SZA and you have mm -hmm. found her and Excellent. make your attack roll. Yes, indeed. Now, this isn't so much like me like swinging on it. It's like trying to cut it and whatnot, but I, mm -hmm. just so that I'm not looking to do any more damage to SZA than she's already. A 15? A 15 hits. Lovely. With six one-handed slashing. Ah, excellent. And this is magic damage, too. It is. It snaps. Nice. All right, and Sissa then... falls. She's been was suspended quite a bit higher right. up than everyone else. She falls. You you feel her falling, and you catch her, and you lower her gently to the ground. She is unconscious. Oh, God. I need a magic weapon. But still breathing. Still breathing. You can feel her breathing. She moans okay. a little as you put her down. Oh, thank the God. All right, and that's me. Mm -hmm. Silas. I am going to trying to remember exactly where she was mm -hmm. and wondering why my moon touched glaive isn't glowing, but I know that it's in darkness, not magical darkness and mumbling a prayer to Vandria. I'm going to rush forward with my glaive swinging it where I thought uh, Van Thumpur was. All right. Um, so the way this works is as you, said, you can move at half speed unless you wish to move at full speed. I'm going full speed. All right, please roll a percentile dice. I can do that. I can roll a 67. Oh, Ooh, you uh, you missed it by two. Um, so you run and you think you're running straight at her, but you've somehow veered to the side. Okay, and I can't, you... I can't actually move myself. So please. Right, I'm, I'm, I'm moving. So okay. let's see. One, two, <laughs> three, four, five, six. Um, you slam into something. Please roll a uh, dexterity saving throw. Dex saving throw. 17. That is a success. You do not fall prone. You have run into what feels like a pillar and you hear uh, using what, of somebody. Using what would be a bonus action, can I feel the person's clothes? Is it Andrelor's clothes or not Andrelor? Not Andrelor. Very good. As far as you could tell, Andrelor, you didn't get a very good look at him, he's, but this fellow is oh, definitely I, not I wearing. Him. Yeah, I know him very well. I know all of his clothes. Got it. All right. So, he's yes. Changed out then. Right. 
I would recognize this is... feel and touch. Also, you, you reach up and you feel a, you feel a scruffy beard. Aha! Andrelor does not have a scruffy beard. That brings us back to the top of the order. Typhon. So, noticing how sort of before her turn, she laughed and all these lights went out, correct? Mm -hmm. That's correct. At point. One at a time. Um, could I hold an action to cast a spell at the beginning of Thalamra's turn? Um, yes, you are concentrating on a held spell. Okay, is it, and is this magical darkness that's happening a magical effect that I can sense and target? Make an arcana check. Okay. Uh, I tried. I'm it's trying. It's not coming. I'm clicking. Technology, it fails us at the most inopportune time. Extension is not playing nicely with roll 20. I had to refresh it again. But you want to just roll all right, a D20? Here we are. Now? Nah, we're. I'm back in, I think. There and it 11. Is. I'm 11. afraid that you. You know that darkness, based on the research you've done, you know that it can be dispelled. Um, whether or not this is a darkness spell is hard to determine because she didn't do any of the moves that you would associate sure. with casting the spell. Right. However,. My, my original intent was thinking it is, it seems to be a magical effect since mm -hmm. I cannot see through it. A very just simple, like, whether or not it's the spell, but if it's a magical effect, I would like to try and target it to dispel it. Very good. Whether or not it works, fine, but I would like to do that at the beginning of her turn. At the beginning of her turn. Correct. Very good. So Typhon is holding a spell. You are concentrating, Typhon. Please keep that in mind. Persephone. Okay, I'm, I'd like to uh, try and go my normal speed to where she was. All right. Please uh, roll a percentile. Ah. Oh, I'm afraid that 64. you... <laughs> oh my gosh, so close. You run into something. Please roll a dexterity saving throw. Uh, oh, you ten. failed. You have run headlong into a stone pillar and you Ouch. fall prone. However, you hear the uh, groaning of a feminine voice. And since it is your mother, you recognize it instantly. That is the end of your turn. Correct. This is now Duke Thalamra Van Thampur's turn. A Typhon, you would have no way of knowing that, but Peter, you do. So please cast your held spell. Okay. In that case, uh, um, I hiss through my teeth. Nobody can see what happens, but I um, sort of claw and just try and part whatever is in front of me. Re claws kind of extending from one of my hands and just try and pull the darkness apart. Very good. So, interesting. The area around you suddenly becomes revealed. Let me see if I can get the math right on this. All right, it's not quite right, but we will say it is this because it is a 15 foot radius. The spell is that is cast. Um, and just for clarity's sake, we'll make it look like that. Um, you have dispelled one of the darkness spells. It seems to be centered on the candelabras. Ah, interesting. Very interesting. That is the end of Typhon's held movement. Duke Thalamra Van Thampur. Um, Falkron, as you were looking down at just the forehead of Sissa, who is lying on the ground, just like the darkness is cutting off right below her nose, you can see there's a green, green tinge 
around her face. And all of a sudden it glows with a deep intensity and you see Sissa get a little paler. And you hear in the darkness, <laughs> Persephone, it sounds like it's right behind you. And all of a sudden two streaks of Eldritch Blast come streaking out of the darkness. Mm. Hitting AC 12. Does not AC hit. 18. It's... Five points of force damage. That is the end of her turn. Rhea Mantelborn. Rhea comes over to you. I can't see her. What do we do? She says to you, Typhon. Um. Uh. I have no idea what to do. Um, <laughs> no. Um, I will. I don't even know. I don't. I don't... Let's see. Ah. Uh. You have no help, and she just <laughs> runs into the darkness. I, that's what. That's actually the thing I was going to say to find the other candelabras, knock them over, break them. All right. She begins that, to but... try and do that. Well, that didn't work out very well for her. Um, next, we have Jax. Oh, is that what we got to do? <laughs> I will go directly south to where the next candelabra is and try to cut it up with my silver dagger. All right. Um, you're going to move at... Um, yeah, why not? All right, go for, for it. For a bit of fun. Yeah, 44. <laughs> that is all right. You are able to run south and you find, reach around, you feel something metal and spindly. You're like, oh, 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 yeah, this is a candelabra. Uh, okay, I'm just going to pick it up and run back up out the door with it. Okay. Um, make a strength uh, um, in athletics check, please. Athletics. Ooh, okay. 18. 18 Ooh. is enough. You pick it up like and you Jack's begin from the to Olympics. run with it. Running with his Half torch. speed. So you get to here. And as you do... You are carrying darkness with you. Does it free up the <laughs> down below? Um, let me see. Yes. Because darkness is on an item, isn't it? <laughs> you reveal this like, much of the map. I can see. As, I can't see. As Ray is like, what the? I was in the wrong place completely. That is the end of. Can I move again? As, mm -hmm. as, as, can I move again? No, you moved. You used an action and you finished your movement. You're done. Oh, you can I, double I dash. Can double dash, though, as a rogue. Oh, right. Right, right, right. Yes, you can continue moving. So you're moving at half speed now because you are carrying something heavy. As it heavy, is it? Okay. I'll, uh, yeah, take it out of the room. But that brings you... Yeah, that, that you do have enough room to do that. You get to the door. Oh, the and door's you reach locked, it, isn't it? So. And you try to open it, and it is locked. Okay. Oh. Does that free any of us up from the darkness, Is he, if he gets that far? Um, let's see. Some of it does free up a bit. There we go. That brings us to... Rim. Rim again tries to shoot. Does he? What? I mean, I'm uh, sure Rim, I'm sure Rim, Rim would here. like to. Does Rim try to shoot? Yeah, Rim. Oh, is he here? You're muted, though, Rim. You're on mute. Uh oh. He's still. He's just got no audio. He, he doesn't he... seem happy about it. He says, uh, he, he says, keep on going. Pantomime. No, he did this. He did this. It means he's going to do a roly poly. Do you want you can to also shoot? Type. Now you're muted in Zoom. No matter what you do, you're muted in skip Zoom. Skip my turn and give me two seconds, he says. Okay. He's going to hold his turn. He's holding an action. All right. Holding an action. Very good. We'll figure out what the tr trigger is when he gets it. What do Alfred. I have to do to fix? Oh, oh you're hey. fixed. You're yeah. in. Oh, I'm hey. fixed. Oh, hey. Hi, guys. Uh, hey, please man. call me Rim Charles for the duration of this session. You got it. <laughs> 
Uh, um, are you aware of what's going on? Uh, I've caught up uh, as best as I can. Uh, where, generally speaking, am I in this uh, map of darkness? At the um, top middle-ish. Top yeah, middle-ish. You feel like you are near a corner. And in no way have I uh, seen a glimpse of Talamra. Is that correct? No. So I have not had the forethought to Hunter's mark on her ass. Um, but I have an idea of where I think she is. Well, is that correct? You can make an attack. It's at disadvantage, and she has a high AC. Um, um, that that is, all that is factored in to the. And if you miss by too much, there might be consequences. There might be consequences. I don't know. You did hit her twice. Bef- the mm, one you round you, you. Oh, I did. Well. Mm-hmm. Oh, well, she's that's been wounded. Exciting. Well, good. Okay, then I let's like uh, let's let's throw caution to the wind, and I'm going to uh, take two attacks on her at disadvantage. Well, two fifteen's fifteen is enough. Oh, uh, so that would be eleven points of piercing damage for attack number one. Very good. Yes. yes. No. Second. No. Second one is a twelve. Yes, that does that not is, hit. However, but, uh, it is high enough to not worry about hitting anybody else. And what I will do, uh, if I can, with my movement, is I'm going to kind of scooch away from the light. Uh, uh, you had seen no light. Oh, I can't see anything in Not darkness, period. Right. Okay, good to know. Uh, the only light that can you can he see, the, 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 only, the only light you can see is from the front of the room where there was a statue. You see um, she's wearing a blindfold, and there are lights underneath her eyes that are bleeding out, and it's sort of giving you a reference of where the front It's It's dimly piercing through the magical darkness but it's not providing any light can I take a listen to see if I hear any more victim-y type folk that would be a uh, your action to take a that would be my check. action okay then that's the end of my turn okay. thanks for waiting guys if uh, if you're in a darkness didn't wait. can you see the light no so, so I can't see where Typhon is for example nope okay you cannot all that right. brings us to Falkron. Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, try to uh, ignite Quietus with light using my cantrip, and I'm going to try to stick it into the darkness and see if it snuffs out or if it stays. You stick it into the darkness and it disappears. It's like uh, it's not working at all. Damn it. All right. Uh, and then I try to get a beat on where Rhea Mantlemorn ran, and I'm go. Right, yeah, between uh, you and her is a strip of darkness, so you can't see her. Uh, and then I, but I can still see Sissa, right? Yes. Okay, so I'm gonna pull Sissa into the light, okay. and then um, I already used my action, but I was gonna take my uh, periap of health off and try to put it on her to see if that helps her condition at all. All right, since you haven't moved, that is your interact with object for this round. All right. So, all right. No. Uh, you put it on her. Uh, it doesn't seem to have an effect. Oh. This- oh. Sean, is that <sighs> strip of darkness there? Because if I've removed yeah, I was one say, and right. Typhon's dispelled the north, the north. Uh, one. That's a good point. Why did I do that? Let's see. So right, so you have darkness with you. Typhon has dispelled so, that one, and yeah. you've moved that one. Yeah, you're right. So that would be that would be visible. Oh, lovely. There you go. You are correct. Very good. Is there um, any, any on the left of Falcon or? Hmm? Any on, no, mind you, I've, I'm cold in it, aren't I there? So, yeah. All right. So No, that's right. So, it's working. That's you done, right? Yes, yes. So as and as, so as I now can see uh, Rhea, I'd be like, it's like, there's another candelabra toward the front. Silas. I believe in game time, just a moment ago, I heard a arrow fly through the air not just a small arrow but a big thick big arrow and hard to tell how into someone thick the arrow was and it was not one of the big thick ones Ugh. but i heard something and i heard something go thunk you hear many things yeah. i was hoping i would hear something really close but i guess not um, i mean all of this is information that is taken into account with the ac she gets and with the just i mean you have to imagine that you are you are peering into the darkness, trying to make everything. Everything you hear, you hear. You're, okay, that's definitely Rim. Okay, I think I hear uh, Rhea's cursing. Okay, and then you hear something that might not belong. That could be her. And you make your attack if you can. Okay, so based on seeing the place and understanding that all of the captives were chained facing inwards. Yes. And I am now standing with a chained captive. 
Yes. I know that they would be facing inwards. I'm going to walk straight towards where they're facing and try to make an attack if I find a bad person. So you're moving at your speed or at half your speed? Half. Half your speed and you want to like walk right into the middle of where- where the, Wherever uh, that the, uh, person the, that the I'm holding, the, the, the female that I don't know. All or right. the person that I don't know. <clears throat> so uh, make an, just make I mean, an intelligence I'll, check. This is not a perception, just an intelligence check. Uh, no, uh, wisdom, sorry, wisdom check. Mountain trained wisdom check. And I have a 19. Oh! So that's a wisdom save. Oh, okay. Oh. It's the same plus, isn't it? Um, but I'll do it. But it depends on whether or not, not you are yeah. proficient in wisdom um, in wisdom saves. Gotcha. Uh, that's a 10. So that's a 10. All but right. The, I still used a 15, a 15 year old. Plus one. Would it would have been a 16. 16. Okay. All right. A lot easier with dice. Um, <laughs> you are able to make your way to the center of the room. You now feel pretty confident you are standing right in the center of the symbol to Zariel. However, you probe the darkness with your sword. With my reach. reach. With your reach. It's not a sword. And you do not encounter anything to attack. Silas. Silas. That is I the end of your towards turn. that sound. All right. Half your speed still? Yes. So you've done a double move. I haven't done anything else, so yeah. Right. All right. You feel like you might be a few feet away from whoever was calling your name. All right. I'm done. That is the end of Silas's turn. Brings us back to the top. Typhon. Mm. Well, there is a lot to do here. Um... <laughs> Did I, so if you're, we're talking like quadrants or sextants of the room okay. here, can I tell where the action is coming from? Like, versus here. There's a lot of things going on, Typhon. Okay. You're not sure, you hear, you hear walking, you hear grunts, you hear pain, you hear the sounds of magic, you hear cackling, it echoes a bit. Make your best guess if you're gonna make an attack. Right. Um, my, well, so here, I'll do the thing you asked us to do. My plan was to, if I could find what, if I had an idea of which part of the room or which part of darkness she might be in, I might try to... Well, she's like, not in yours. Right. I might try to thorn whip one of the candelabra out of that particular section of darkness. So I will pick one, which would be, I will pick this one. If there's All one, right. I, I think there's one mirroring one here. That's a good guess. So make your attack at disadvantage. Okay. I crit. Whoa, Boy, I should have nice. used that for something else. So the crit is, of course, negated, but the 25 does hit. You have snagged a... Oh, right. A uh, candelabra. Okay. Can I try and... Well, actually, can I can I break it with that roll? <laughs> and if not, can I just pull it uh, um, closer? Yeah, with a roll of 17. Let me just check something. 17's with the crit. That would yeah. be with the crit, yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm sorry, right. Um, yeah, you can totally break it. All right. Does it have any effect on the darkness in front of me? Well, the candelabra has been broken in half. It does not seem to have had an effect. What? Oh, all right. In that However, case, however, you do, I have, you do yank still it have towards it. Yes, me. You may. Yeah. You yank it towards you. How far do you want to yank it? I think it's ten feet. I uh, mm -hmm. can, if I would like. So that reveals. Uh, so confusing. Roughly this. That's the idea. <laughs> Roughly this. Reveals now that's only roughly... revealed to the people that are not in darkness, yes? Correct. So, for example, Jax can't see that. Silas can't see that. Correct. 
So now it is about there, Typhon. Does that make sense? It does. You've yanked, you've cut it in half, and you've yanked the top of the candelabra towards you, and it has created darkness right in front of you and revealed space there in the where it was. And you can see Persephone, who's got some smoking holes steaming oh. off of her there. I don't, and I don't you can think see, I can see her, but... Oh, you can't. Never mind. To Persephone, suddenly you can see. You see an owl flying right above you, and you see Doran. All right. Who I believe is still... And half a up. candelabra. And half a candelabra lying on the ground. I'm going to... Oh, sorry. Is it my turn? Mm-hmm. Uh, I'm going to try again with the percentile roll to go to where Van Thamper used to be. Okay. At least where I think she might be. Very good. 53. That is a success. So, away you go. Running just towards like the apex of where the uh, yeah she was like there-ish right yeah right. you hear um, have, have you is concentration on the earth and hand still happening Peter I had to drop it to you had to drop darkness. it right that's right so um, you reach that point and you can feel the gaze of the statue just bearing down upon you but there doesn't seem to be anybody there And I can't now use more of my motion as my action, right? Let's see. One, two, three, four, five. You've got one more step you can take. Do you want to go north, south, east, or west? Uh, toward the statue. Toward the statue. Very good. Oh, so close. Uh, I guess I can't reach the statue at this. You stick your hand out and you realize that right at the statue's base, there doesn't appear. You, well, in case you can't see it, never mind. You don't know. <laughs> okay. You don't know. Um, then I'm going to ready an action. Um, if I can see, uh, if suddenly like a, a um, candelabra is moving. Yeah, or something exactly. Like that. And yeah. I can see uh, any foe, not our people. I'm going to shoot him with a crossbow. Very good. All right. That brings us to Duke's turn. Falkren, you're looking down. You see Sissa go paler. <laughs> and let's see. There's no getting away, little goblin. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> and you hear coming at you. Hitting AC 24. Oof. Eight points of force. Ow. Hitting AC 20. Six points of force. Ow. Oh, oh that's not inspiration. <laughs> that is the end of her turn. Which brings us to Rhea Mantelmorn. Rhea Mantelmorn comes and she's like, who is this? Who are you? And she begins rummaging with something. That is the end of her turn. Jax. Put my spectacles on. I am the brainy goblin. <laughs> and I'm going to put the candelabra in my bag of holding while I'm standing there. The candelabra is quite large. I've got a big bag of holding. It is a big bag of holding, but it would require, I mean, you would have to open it up and like climb it and pull it down. It's not something you can just stuff in in an action. It's going, it's, it's a, it's, it's going to cost an action. So it's not that. Yondu's bag is what you're saying. No. Um, obviously it's on an item. So is it on one of the darkness is on armor? Is it on one of these candles? So if I'm quickly moving the candles, does anything flicker? Or is it actually on um, the can? So you're making an investigation attempt to figure out yeah. what is causing the All Which right, one? So and an then I want to put it in the bag. Make an investigation at disadvantage, please. So, so it 18. equals out. So an eighteen. So you move all of the candles. Um you're like, okay, what's going on? Okay. Oh, 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 okay. Oh, oh. 
and you realize none of them are lit. And then you put your fingers over one and it burns. I put that one in the... So, do I think it's that one? I've told you what you've discovered. I'm gonna... I'll put all the candles in the bag. And if none of the, If that doesn't work, then I'll do the candelabra. That's... You that, put that, all the candles in the bag? No, don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> all right. That, that is your turn. There is nine candelabras. Mm. Roll and... Light of hand check, please. See if you can get all nine. Like... Fifteen. Fifteen. That is enough. You are able to get all of the nine candelabras into the bag of holding, and you reveal that. Nice. So smart. Do you shout anything to the rest of the group? <laughs> <laughs> I'm a brainy goblin. That's what I shout. <laughs> Have I got any of my movement left? Mm, no. It's thanks to the spectacles. Well, no, I guess you used all of your your action to do that, so you do have all of your movement left. I, I will head over to the other candelabra over here that I know is over here. All right. And attempt to do the same. I don't, I don't know where it is, so in the darkness. But. Right. So, um, all right. So you have moved. Uh, roll a percentile die. Um, just roll a percentile die. 54. All right, you're fine. Um, you run and you find and you realize, oh, here's another candelabra. Very good. Obviously, I've still got on like another move or a bonus action. So can I do anything with that? Nope. Okay. You can <laughs> move some more or you can hide. I shout out. I shout out. Oh, it's the candles. <laughs> if anyone can hear me. And that brings us to Rim. So that's the only thing that I know about the candelabras. That's the only thing that was said out right, loud. Right, and it was rare. said literally right next to you. Just, oh, okay. Um, I will reach out to see if I can feel uh, the candelabra. You feel a goblin. Huh? A rim, is that you? <laughs> Chewy. Chewy, is that you? <laughs> um... <laughs> So if I if I hear if I hear Jax, uh, I'll I'll reach out to the direction that Jax was. Very good. And uh, I did not see I, I did not sense any of the thing that you told him about not seeing the flame but feeling the flame, like running your hand over the top. No, and... no you don't. You that is not information that you have. Okay. All right. Uh, I will then. I Rim would probably just try to break the candelabra. All right. Um, make a attack with your uh, bow as a weapon. Okay. Disadvantage, please. All right. Did that come through? That would be a 14 at disadvantage. Uh, that is a hit. And that would be uh, 11 points of damage. All right. Uh, you hear a clattering sound ding, 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 and some rolling sounds. And nothing happens. Uh, in terms of revealing. Let me see here. Let me, uh, just a second. Do the candles scatter. Hmm. Hmm. Interesting. All right. So. This area goes dark. This area is revealed. All right. Um. Then I will use my movement to, because uh, we can't see. Let's see. Oh, I see Doran. Mm -hmm. He um, is unconscious, and he's got a, a green pallor around him. I don't know if there's anything that I can do for him. I'm going to uh, move into the darkness uh, 20 feet and uh, ready in action to um, so take once you hit shot. the So once you hit the darkness, are you moving at half speed? Uh, yeah, that, that'll be my full speed then. Yeah, it's uh, okay. 30 feet. So it would go 10 feet of lit space, 20 or 10 feet of dark space. So you're holding an attack. Uh, if, if, uh, the Lamra is revealed. If the Lamra is revealed. Very good. End of my turn. Fulcrum. All right. I'm going to go ahead and so Sean, am I in the darkness? Am I in the light? No, you should be in the light. Lovely. All right, then. So I'm going to go ahead and move up to where I saw Rhea disappear. And then I'm going to try to move uh, into... Well, actually, I'm going to get to this person here who... Mm -hmm. I, do I recognize? I don't think I recognize. Uh, I don't believe you've ever met this man. He is right, human. Then. He... You can... 
where he is, you can see most of one of his arms that is stretched around this pillar, and you All can right. see the side of sort of a, a scraggly mutton chop. All right, and then I'm going to go ahead and use quiet. I'm going to use uh, quietus to cut his bonds. Very good. You can see his bonds. The bonds are revealed. Rolled a 16 with 13 damage. That is enough. The bond is snapped and he is dropped to the ground. <laughs> all right. Excellent. And then I'll be like, say, you say, you, you'll be all right. Just just breathe. You'll be fine. And then I, I check him to make sure that he's breathing. Um, so do you pull him into the light? Please? Yes, yes. All and right. I say, kind of pull him out of the darkness. So you pull him into the darkness right there next to Typhon. He is breathing. He has the green light around him and he looks very pale oh god all right um uh, and uh, yeah that's that is going to be me all right that is the end of Falkrenner. silas i am going to walk forward at half speed swinging with my nice 10 foot reach good uh, like bing, a, like a, like you, you know like, the, the very yeah. first thing you do bing, you hit a, a, a something that sounds like a stone pillar right in front of you And you believe you are standing next to Andrelor. Then I'm going to turn and face the other direction. Take one step, one move mm -hmm. towards the statue, which I could still see. Yes. And swing in a radius. All right. Make an attack roll, please. I can do that if I can just click here and then I can click there and it will come up and 13, you didn't say advantage or disadvantage. Uh, you are at mm -hmm. disadvantage. Let me get you are in darkness. That, but, see what the lower actually, is. no, no, you, you, you have an idea of where, of where it is because of the light. So you can tell that you are 10 feet away from it. You're not sure what's between you and it, but 13. 13. I believe that misses your AC, Persephone. You feel a and duck just in time as a blade clears your head by about three inches. Silas, you feel as your blade hits the statue. And I'm going to yell out, this is Silas, and then stop. All right. And free my hand. What was that? He said, my hand. Free my hand. Well, I've got a bonus action, so I'll do that. All right. Um, it's going to require an attack, I'm afraid. Unarmed? Um, or... No, a, like a cutting attack. This bond is not normal rope. You used, your attack, rope? To atta you used your attack to hit the statue. You do not have another attack to work on the rope. Okay. That brings us back to the top of the round, Typhon. Okay. Very interesting. Um, this may not work at all. I'm going to step back here and call out loudly um, and say, there's light on this side of the room. Everyone, run to my voice and attack whatever comes after us. And um, I will cast a spell magic on this part here. Very good. There you are. Nice. Hello, pretty lady. Can we see just a bit of Persephone here? Yes, a bit of Persephone there. Yep. My elbow. Let's see. <laughs> it's not Rim's elbow. <laughs> <laughs> that brings us to I can't Persephone. hear Falcon and I'm so glad. Um, oh. uh, um, yeah, okay. I will just whisper to Rhea then, mark well the position of your allies and strike when you can. And that's it. For a 70. Um, if I ask for a 
perception roll to see if there's if I can sense somebody right next to me. That would be your action. That would be my action. Um, I... Before I... She would have have just heard me yell out, though, right? No, I'm not... uh, Because I can see him, right? Yeah, you... you... Yeah. I I get the sense that there's somebody right here. But, um... (laughs) uh, Mm. I'd like to, like, just make kind of a wild uh, stab with my rapier in that okay. direction and and if I don't feel something there I'm going to do exactly what Typhon said okay um so I guess I should do that uh rapier uh 12 12 does not hit Okay, so I don't get any resistance or anything. Well, if there was something, you missed it. Okay. Uh, all right, I'm going to head back five, ten, fifteen, twenty, to here, like Typhon asked us to. As you move, you are slapped. Slapped? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Where exactly? Crit. Wait. Just <laughs> a fist just <laughs> comes out of nowhere and strikes you in the jaw with a natural 20 doing seven points of bludgeoning damage. Okay. Can I, would I maybe be able to stop moving while, when I feel that and turn back you around? You can if you want. Yes. You, she just took so an attack I... of opportunity. You moved out of her threatened space. By right here, she is. basically. So you were here. Uh-huh. You moved there. As you did, you felt a slap. You, you felt a, a strike. So do you wish to keep moving? No, I want to go back and use my bonus action to stab at the at where I felt the slap come from. All right, well, it's still a disadvantage. Oh, man. Okay. Dang, nab it. But it's her dagger, though. That's right. <laughs> I know. A dagger. So weirdly good at it. A 13. Darn it. Oh. is not enough. Oh, miss sick. again. Slapped me! <laughs> you hear a giggle as, and it fades as she appears to no longer be standing next to you. Oh, uh. man. Oh, <laughs> do I have time to cry out? She was right here, but she just moved. Yes, you do. Okay. You like that? Try these. And two Eldritch Blasts come streaking at you. I'm so sorry. How much damage did I take for that slap? Seven. Okay. It was a critical. Uh, hitting AC 23. Oh, uh, that hits. Nine points of force damage. Hitting AC 18. Hits. 14 points of force damage. Oh! Okay, I'm not okay, guys. <laughs> that is her turn. Next up, we have Rhea Mantamon. Where was she? You said you saw her? Can I answer? Um, Sure. Make it here. Quick, make it a quick. Here. I'll just say here. Yeah. All right. She comes running over to you. She pulls you. She could see your arm, and she pulls you out of the darkness towards her. Where? And I point where the slap was. Yeah. She begins to step forward, just sort of sticking her sword into the darkness, and she moves past you and disappears. Careful. That's the end of her turn. She's a slapper. She's a slapper. I will move 30 feet to there. um, And then I will continue walking towards the other candelabra. Uh, 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 I'm going to go at half speed. Okay. Knowing roughly if it's the same as the opposite side. Feel out for it and then grab the candles and stick them in the bag. All right. So that is... All so you've moved and then you bonus action moved and yep. you used your attack to just take the candles one by one and put them all in the yep. bag. Yeah, make a sleight of hand check because it's nine candles. Oh, 24. Uh, it's a 12 because it's a disadvantage. Oh, really? I'm afraid you're able to get half of the candles. Do I get the right one? Oh, oh, round it up. Percentile roll. Hmm? Did he get the right? Do candle? I get the right one? It's that's a good point. Okay. First <laughs> <laughs> entire roll. 57. Yes. 57. 
Yes, you found the right candle. <laughs> yes! <laughs> That's amazing. That is. Uh, uh, he's moaning and grumbling, probably a bit bleeding. Oh, man. I'm going to keep these. The souvenir. It's the, spe- it's the spectacles. Yeah. <laughs> Right, that is the end of Jax's turn. Oh Jesus! So is this is this darkness gone then? Because both of these are extinguished. Yeah, that's a good point. Yep. Woo-hoo. But Re- uh, but uh, Thalamra is not in any of those spots. Is that right? You don't see her. I don't. You see wouldn't her. be able to see her anyway. Uh, you have a candle of darkness at your feet. Well, shit. Would this be uh, here? Is, would this be there? It's or just would that be this gone? fifteen foot orb here that is dark at the yeah. and some up here. Okay, yeah, um, know you said that I say. candles at my feet. Sean, do, do I feel them at my feet? Uh, as you are moving your feet, you begin to sort of feel things rolling around at your feet. Yes, you do. Alright, I will start kicking them to this part of the room, to the left part of the room. Um, start, make some unarmed attacks, please. You got it. Alright, let's see. <laughs> That'll be two unarmed attacks. Advantage. No, no, because he's in the rim. Eat them. Soccer player. <laughs> disadvantage. <laughs> and he's got a tail. Like 16. A uh, at disadvantage is 16. Um, okay, you do hit a, uh, a candle, I'll roll a percentile dice to see if it's the right one. All right, here we go. Do, do, do. 46. It is not the correct one. Son of a bitch. All right. Um, I, then I'm going to uh, move back out. Uh, oh yeah, that was my action too, wasn't it? So I can't. It was. Well, you still have one more attack. You can use another attack to uh, kick another one. I. Oh, sure. Why not? Disadvantage. Disadvantage. Ooh, double nineteens. All right. Uh, you, another percentile die, or is another percentile die? That's a sixty-five. You do not kick the correct one. Why do you hate me? Okay. Um, <laughs> all right. There's several reasons, Samus. I don't. Sorry, <laughs> sorry, Rem. It's a shame you just can't see it. I can't. Oh. All right. Oh. Ah. All right. That's the end of my turn. All right. Very good. That brings us to Falkron. All right. So with uh, the world being illuminated here, I'm going to go ahead and uh, attempt to move across this void. To then get to this victim here. See if I can cut them down. Can I get to them, Sean? You reach her. So evil. She is not breathing. Uh Um, I'm going to go. And so instead of using my action, uh, I'm going to go ahead and do. uh, Would spare the dying actually, like stabilize her? It could. All right, I'm going to go ahead and try to use uh, Spare the Dying then. Like, I place my hand on her and offer up a prayer to El Mater. Okay. She is stabilized. Very nice. Thank that is, uh, you, do you have anything else? Uh, can I use a bonus action to try to cut her down? Um, no, that will require an attack roll. No worries. All right, well, then, having stabilized her, I will do, that's, that's me. Mm-hmm. Very good. Excellent. That brings us to Silas. I'm going to make an attack roll on the rope chain things holding up Andrelor, his hands specifically. Mm-hmm. Is that just a straight attack? Yes. A 10 against a stationary object. Let me <laughs> see here. Do, 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 do. You, you cut his yeah. head off. Yes, it is. Yeah, you're good. A 10 is good. Wait a minute. What did I say? Yeah, 10 is good. 11 points of magic damage. Yep. That is a success. Andrelor's hand swings free. He raises it up and says, Isanorama Sereno Saldarin! And he casts Daylight, which reveals the entire map. Wow. All right, with that... And do, 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 the Lamra of Antampur whirls over at him. She lifts the... the cat of nine tails, her eyes blazing with fury, and she uses her reaction. And you see the light fade from Angelor's eyes, and he falls limp, oh. his arms still tied up on one side. 
going to use my movement to rush her. And then action surge hey to attack her. Very good. Love action surge. 11. At 11 <laughs> hits. Uh, it does? Yeah. Because she doesn't have the darkness as 10 points of damage. Magic. It does. Make a dexterity save. She already had a She's reaction, a but reaction. I will do that. Oh, you're right. Never mind. Please don't bother to make that dexterity save. Well remembered. Phew. So you just did happened, 10 so. points of slashing damage. Yes. Guys, she's also here. It's the doppelganger. <laughs> yes, that's right. Watch out. Mm, you don't see that. Don't see that? No. That's, that's... That man behind the curtain. attention to that man behind the curtain. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. That's it. Mm hmm. That's the end of Silas's turn. Back up to Typhon. Okay. I will. Um... Now that everything's back normal, I'll have the owl swoop at her and conjure the translucent snaky tendril to cast cast chill touch upon her. Very Ooh, good. Not super good, but a 14. A 14 is a success. For eight points of necrotic damage. Eight points of necrotic damage. Very good. And then I will and continue brings up us to and Persephone. take uh, some slight cover behind this. Persephone. I know. Um, <laughs> I can't decide. Okay. Um, <laughs> I'm gonna. I'm gonna do a defensive flourish. Uh, approach her, and then uh, I'm gonna use one of my bardic inspiration points for defensive flourish. Uh, inspiration. Defensive flourish. Gives me an extra ten feet. Um, okay. So here comes the rapier attack. That's a hit. Oh, nice. Twenty-three uh, is a hit. And then I roll an eight, right? Uh, to see. So add five to that nice. damage. Nice, nice. Eleven. Mm. Uh, and here comes the dagger. Nineteen to hit. That is a hit. Thing. Wow. How do you yeah. make these attacks, Miss Defensive Flourish? Uh, so I'm gonna rush at her. I'm also looking real bad, uh, so it's it's not like <laughs> She's a very got, like, smoke like yeah. sort of rising <laughs> from various holes in your leather armor. But to get the reach as quickly as I possibly can, I'm gonna do um, a balestra uh, and have that kind of launch it. Uh, the rapier straight into her and that gets me nice and close and then I'm just going to take the dagger and swipe it in her stomach after that. Very good. Alright, so you have done your damage and your turn is over, I believe. Correct. And your AC has gone up? Oh, yeah. Uh, yes, it has. Thank five. You By five, that. right? So I'm at a 20 now. Very good. Her turn. Oh, I, I love it when she talks fencing terms. <laughs> she <know>. grips, <laughs> so she grips the cat of nine tails <laughs> and you see it glow green and little motes of green energy come floating from all the victims towards her, except for one. Oh my. It appears to be dead. Oh no. And you see some of the wounds that you just made on her clothes. And I need to make some rolls. Mm. Get that whip out of her hands. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's super true. Or take her hands. Little bit of column A. Little bit of column one, A. One of those hands was kind of creepy looking. Doran is dead. No. Oh. <laughs> you see the green energy flow out of him. He just sort of arches his back and then... Oh. Ball's dead. That's okay, friends. Uh, we all could have seen that coming. <laughs> we all knew he was all uh, right. not long for this world. <laughs> hmm. In hell. Why do I suddenly suspect that with his his injury she heals? Why do I why do I feel this? Uh -huh. So she backs up. 
to over to Doran. Both you and uh, both Silas and Persephone may take attacks of opportunity if you wish. Happily. Okay, if we kill all the other hostages, yeah, I, can't I'm, heal I'm not guys. even going to try to because I know Persephone's going to kill her now. <laughs> I'm just going <laughs> to. It's going to be a dagger and a rapier. So the, so 21, you the 21 to hit 21, seven. 21 hits seven points of piercing damage. Persephone, make a dexterity saving throw. How many rebukes does she have? This is the Holy only, crap. This is. Oh that my god. Oh no. A critical failure. Please take 22 points of fire damage. <laughs> I am so unconscious. It's not so even as she funny. Moves out of your way, then I'm going to take my opportunity attack. <laughs> <laughs> All right. This, this, uh, crit fail. Oh <laughs> <laughs> you guys. Didn't she already have a reaction, though? This is her next turn. New turn. Uh, yeah, new turn. Oh, yeah. And she, let's see, who gets the boot? Well, you just attacked her, Silas, so two Eldritch Blasts come at you. Come at Hitting me, AC bro. nine. Nice. Well, that's a no. Nope. She doesn't have advantage anymore, but a 23, I believe, does do hit. Does yeah, hit. you're wrong. Am I? 11 no. <laughs> points of force damage, Silas. 11, thank you. Yes. That is the end of her turn. Rhea Mantelmorn, now that she sees a target, comes barreling past you. Yes. One, two, three, four, five, six, comes right up to her and makes her three attacks. Yes. Come on, Hellrider. Three hits. Yes. Cool. She slashes at her a lot. And with the last blow, the llama <clears throat> falls down to her knee, <clears throat> comes up, wipes blood away from her mouth. Looks like she's barely holding on. Next up we have, <clears throat> of course, Jax. Um, where I am. <laughs> she can't see me from where I am, correct? Were you stealthed? Not at the moment, but obviously I'm behind a pillar, so can I stealth? Um, you can, but the way stealth is going to work, I, I looked it up, Jax. Um, mm. We haven't been quite doing it right. You need to be in stealth at the start of your turn. Yeah. If they have not seen you up until that point, you can attack from that point. If they have, then you stealth and you need to move to another point of right. of, of block sight because she knows that you were there. Yeah. So now you can stealth because she doesn't have line of sight and you can move to someplace else that she doesn't have line of sight. Yeah. And then you can make your attack. Yeah. So, okay. So I can stealth, yeah? You began? Yes. Bonus action stealth. 29. Okay. Um, obviously, uh, I'm one shoot. moment, one moment, one moment. Mm. All right, yeah, that beats her. That beats so her. So yeah. you are unseen. Okay, so. Um, so can I move in to attack her? Um, if you step out of that cover and like come right up to attack her, that's not going to work. You need to attack from stealth. Okay. Actually, wait, no, that would work. So let me think for a moment. Okay, so you're stealthed. So you're gonna run out and run up and attack her. Yeah, that will that will work. Okay, I will do that then. Okay, I'm gonna stab a bitch. Do uh, it. Well, I will try to do it for a twenty-one. Twenty-one is a hit. Twenty-one damage. Twenty-one damage. Very nice. Um, Goodbye, Van Van right. it's been you, nice. uh, Tell me how you do this, uh, Jax. He will run up, obviously, uh, probably swing around the candelabra that's still hanging there. Very good. And go in for a backhand knife strike to the bottom okay. of her lumber. Good. She falls. And then twist it. 
she drops the cat of nine tails and from a hidden pocket next to her, she pulls out an ornate dagger. Sariel, the compact is complete. And she stabs herself in the heart. And she locks eyes with you, Jax, and says, See you in hell. Oh, I'm sure one day I'll go there. <laughs> her eyes fade. And then spikes stick out of her. Each of them at least a foot long. She rises up. And then all of a sudden the body begins to rip apart as something grows and comes out of it. And standing before you is a fiend of enormous size. Oh. Oh, I'll my. take my reaction. And that's not <laughs> even her final form. <laughs> mm -mm. I'll take my reaction so, and move 15 foot be... away. <laughs> cool. One moment, please. Without provoking. Ah. Mm. Ooh, is she large now? Yes, she is large. Oh, so, sorry. Did I say there? Stare then. <laughs> <laughs> I think this will be where we'll take our break, everyone. <gasps> oh, uh, <sighs> uh, Welcome back. Um, so. The adventurers are continuing their delve into the basement of Van Tampur Villa. They came across the temple to Zarya, and they entered and encountered Thalamra Van Tampur herself, who threatened them and their loved ones, who were apparently there, chained, uh, roped to these pillars. When they attacked, darkness fell upon them. And they floundered about in it, trying to damage her as best they could for several rounds. But eventually, Andralor, Silas's mentor, was freed. He cast daylight, dispelling the last of the darkness, and she was revealed. She didn't last much longer after that. But with her dying breath, she completed a dark ritual, and she has taken on another form, that of a massive barbed devil who reaches out with its claws and its foot-long spikes growing out of its skin. Bits and pieces of Thalamra's body are still hanging on various places and it's standing in a wide pool of her cooling blood. We will keep the same initiative. And we will continue the fight. Right. Jax has just finished his attack. Rin, it is your turn. Okay, so uh, with fiends being my uh, my jam, so to speak, uh, do what do I know about uh, the beast that I see in front of me? Uh, make a nature check at advantage. That'll be a fourteen. You know that it is a devil. It has the basic devil resistances. It is. What are the basic devil resistances? Basic, they basic. Um, it is resistant to cold, bludgeoning, piercing, and slashing from non-magical attacks that aren't silvered. Too bad we don't all know that. Um, it is a uh, anything that is holding on to it will probably take damage from its spikes. Okay. It can see in magical darkness, and this is the biggest one you've ever seen or heard about. Okay, so that's fun. Uh, I will, uh... Your turn is over. Oh. Okay. That was your, that was your, your action was to make the nature tech. Correct? Okay, then, uh, yes. Unless then, you wish to move or do a bonus action. Uh, bonus action, Hunter's Mark. Um, okay. and then I'm going to, uh, retreat in this direction, uh, 60 or 30 feet. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Wait. Hunter's Mark has a verbal component. How do you do it? Um... Oh, does it? I don't it know. I just, uh, I'm just I'll have to think about that and prepare for this. Uh, you go, mm, batty. Uh, that one. <laughs> um, I'll come up with something clever the next time. Uh, that, yes. Shoot the thrill, way to kill. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> and um, you move. Very good. Move Falkren. This. All right. So Falkren is um, immediately rushing towards Persephone's side, and I'm going to use my channel divinity 
to preserve life. And so I'm going to heal her for up to 17 points um, to get her back up to half. So she comes back from oh, the dead. How, how big is the burst of that? Does it get me? Uh, it's, it's, it's 30 feet. Oh, so um, Jax, oh, you, you tricks. You are out way. of the range, I'm afraid. Uh, oh, wait, no. What is, is it? An, is, it a, is it an area gang effect? Uh, it says any creature. Feet. Go ahead. Jim. Any creature within thirty feet. Mm -hmm. And I can divide it up uh, amongst that. So um, if anyone else has like dropped below half, but I, I would just have to target. That. I'm in range. So, you are in range, Jax. You're in range. Yes. Okay. Awesome. So then, uh, Jax, you can go ahead and take the rest of the heals. Um, that would be. Hang on, I'm mathing. You might smell smoke. Um, that'll be. You can hear this uh, whirling eight, noise. Eight <laughs> more points. Yeah, eight, eight points of uh, HP uh, oh, available okay. to you. Okay, eight. Lovely. Thank you. Yeah. And then uh, upon seeing, well, if I'm as ho I hopefully see Persephone's eyes come back to us. Uh, you do, yes. Uh, she takes the healing. She's still I say, prone. I said, welcome back. Get up. Is music gone again, or is it just me? I You're not hear hearing it. music? No. I'm hearing music. No. Oh. It is not for May. For, for May? For me? May. May. For May. It's not May. May. It's May. I would really May. like for you all to be hearing the music. Oh, Why is no one hearing the music? It signed, it signed me out again. Hang on. Roll 20 did it again, yep. Yeah. All right. Please adjust the things that need oh, to be adjusted. Oh, it says we were investigating an issue where you suddenly get logged out. So, yeah. Yeah. I'm, I'm a really, I, I really enjoy Roll 20. I know that there's some technical glitches here and there, but... They are a nice virtual tabletop for us. Mm -hmm. Especially True. considering it's free. Thanks, Rob. Oh my gosh, yeah. yeah. Sean and Pia, I do own Towspire. So if you guys <laughs> want to give that a go. Hmm. Mm. I've seen some good things about Foundry too. That looks and then, cool. So then Sean, after like after like dividing up the heels of Ilmater, thanks Ilmater, uh, I'm going to go ahead and <laughs> stand. This, uh, this divine, uh, this... Um, Channel Divinity is going to need a little extra flavor, I think, because it's a critical moment. Absolutely. So, um, so as I go ahead and like drop down and put hands on her, it's like Persephone comes back, and then like you see the sort of like rippling blue just kind of come off of me, and then like blossom out, and it looks almost for a second as if like I've got like you see like red bands kind of coming off of me. Um, and those red brand, those red bands seem to wrap around the people who have been injured. So Jax and Persephone, and their their wounds seem to then get wrapped in these bands. And as the red bands seal together, they close up your wounds. Very so cool. A moment where you feel almost bound, and then it's like you exhale and you, <gasps> and that's like and that's Persephone coming back to life. Jax has nice. got no idea what it is. He's panicking as he sees this shit yeah, he's like towards him. <laughs> oh, oh, get off me! Get off me! Oh, it's so, quite nice. <laughs> is there music now? Yes. Y yes. Yep. Good. All right. That I'll, is I'll double down, though, and say that it's really cool for Roll20 to put a notice up that they know there's an issue that they're investigating. Yes. It. From the world that I come in, that's a big deal. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So that is it of Falkrin's turn. Silas. <sighs> Well, let's go stick the thing, shall we? Indeed. Stick Point end. Here. I'm going to go there and use my reach. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to attack with my moon-touched elven glaive. Crit. Cool. Ah, 26. Very good. For only nine points of damage, but magic damage. Magic damage indeed. All right, that is the end of your turn. I'm Typhon. actually going to oh. rotate out first. Now it's the end of my turn. Um, as you, no, oh, never mind. <laughs> Good, Typhon. So between, um, the D and D Beyond is updating a little slowly. From between Jax and Persephone, who is looking worse off? As far as health, um, I'll say goes. Persephone. I'm, I'm. They've both been wounded. Persephone looks like a larger percentage of her health yeah, is gone. I'm thirteen okay. off. <clears throat> and is is Rhea looking okay? She is. Cool. Um, in that case, um, 
I will mutter the incantation, Ochi Kadakisamenos, and you will see the owl flat by land on your shoulder, and it will look you in the eye for a second, and you will see vertical reptilian slits for eyes for just a moment. It perches on your shoulder, and you will feel a power surging through its talons into you. As I cast protection from evil and good upon you, then you'll see Typhon lean around the corner and say, um, uh, strike true and bravely, Bard. You are protected from this thing. Awesome. And just so you know, it has, it'll have disadvantage against, uh, on attacks against you. So feel free to be bold. Hulk the snake owl. Not a Persephone. Uh, all right. Um, hmm. So while I loot, before I lose the opportunity, how long does that last? Uh, a minute. So, uh, so ten, 10 minutes. So if you need to attack it a hundred times to kill it, it will last that long. So. Awesome. Um, I'm going to cast shatter at the third level. Um, all right. I'm going Where to are you going to center it? Hold on, I'm trying to figure exactly that out. A 10 foot radius, so here? And it wouldn't get anybody but her? Correct? Mm, 10 foot radius? Yeah, uh, but would get the body of Doran, but other than that, you're good. Sorry, Doran. Um, I probably wouldn't if you did that. No, no, shouldn't get him if it's centered. Well, put it, it, oh, yeah. Put it yeah, right the there, you're good. All right. Oh, wow, that's a shadow yeah. and a half. Wow. Uh, DC save 15 for 23 thunder damage. Con save, you see, right? Yes. Con save. Well, what type of damage is that? Uh, oh. So take half damage. Um, I guess my advantage that I just got from uh, Typhon doesn't do anything with spells. No, though. unfortunately. Okay. It's, and it, it, it looks like it's somewhat resistant. Oh, man. Okay. I'll display um, it there. Anyway. Cool. There you go. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. So I'm going to move in. So a total of half damage, so that's going to be 11, right? Yeah. Yes. Just round it down. Okay. Even more so, it's even more resistant. Very good. All right. Brave Persephone. Literally just looks down at you. you. <laughs> <laughs> Fatty. <laughs> And comes at you with two claw attacks. Disadvantage? Yes, please. AC 13? Nope. AC 17. Uh, that is my AC. Damn it. You take four points of piercing damage, and the tail whips out and strikes you as well. I take it you haven't got that defense thing still up. God damn. No. You just crit it, didn't you? Didn't yes, you? Yes, I did. Son of a. Oh, it crit God. a double 20? Disadvantage? Oh, no. 18. Okay. Uh, oh. Oh. Still <laughs> hits, but at least it's <laughs> Sorry. Saved Ooh. by the rules. Okay, so so we'll take off that second die roll. So seven points of piercing. Okay. Mayhaps so, some good? range? <laughs> I got that. All I can do is, is up close. And that is the That's end. That's what we have rim for. <laughs> that is the end of With my unmagic weapon. Its turn. Rhea Mantlemorn attacks. Now Rhea Mantlemorn is probably really upset. She's uh, a hell rider of Elturel. And she, is. she would have just heard someone threaten because I told her that uh, would like to this reach. this not nice lady was going to turn Baldur's Gate into another Elturel. So she's probably full of fury and anger. And, and she is. She hits three times, but she rolled absolutely crap damage. Wow. So she's just raking at it with her weapons, and it's sparking off of the hide, doing practically no damage. That brings us to Jax. Jax is like got his, you know, like uh, out of the uh, Hobbit. 
where he's hiding, where Bilbo's hiding. He's got his back mm-hmm. to the field pillar. <laughs> I'm gonna have to stick it as I am the imp slayer. But um, can I hide there? Um, has it got not got line of sight on me? You don't have. Yeah, you're out of line of sight, so you can hide for fifteen. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. you step out to do whatever it is about to do and it turns and looks at you oh shit I gotta stick it anyway Uh, 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 with a silver weapon (laughs) Uh, 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 I'm flanking so I don't get advantage now do I you do not uh, so 14. 14 is not enough, I'm afraid. Oh, shit. I disengage. As you attack, it it does a breathe in, and everybody within a five-foot radius of it, please make a dexterity save. Why did I get close? <laughs> I just, I, so that's, that's it includes you, Jax. Ray, uh, Jax. Oh, okay. <laughs> Persephone, Ray, Jackson, Doran's corpse. Right. That's my new album, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, no. It's corpse. <laughs> Ten. All right. One moment, Four- please. Fourteen. I lost my information. Pretty the, sure it's less than a fourteen. Doran's corpse also goes down again. Doran's corpse gets riddled with multiple spines from this creature. Yeah, I don't think a revivify is going to bring that guy back. All right. Uh, he's gonna, just gonna come back as a cleric. He's holy now. All right. So, what did you roll, Jax? Ten. That is a fail. It takes seven points of piercing damage. What did you roll, Persephone? Uh, Fourteen. That oh. is a fail. Take seven oh. points of piercing damage. I'm gonna use Ray my Mantle reaction Morn. to halve it. And this is happening just because he hit it. This is a, a reaction. A reaction. Waiting for a reaction for when more people were around him. I Earth. use uncanny dodge to halve it as I move. Okay, away. so round down, so that becomes a six. So you take three. Yep. And Rhea makes her save. All right. That is the end of Rhea of its turn, or no, of Jax's turn. All right. Uh, Rim is going to from there start with an arrow attack. Uh, Very good. Uh, that would be a 13, unfortunately. 13 is not enough. Alright, uh, then he is going to take one step forward and draw With the challenge. Hunter's Mark? That doesn't uh, help. Hunter's Mark doesn't help to hit. It only gives yeah. Sorry. bonus ouchies. But I appreciate you looking out for me. Um... Uh, he's going to draw back a javelin, and uh, he, yeah, he's. You can hear, you can see his muscles start to bulge, and there's determination in his face, and he's growling under his breath. And uh, as he pulls the bow back, uh, it sounds like the cracking and splintering of trees being felled from all directions. All uh, right, and he's going to. Yeah. Oh, yes. oh, 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 <laughs> Uh, that is a that is a crit for uh, oh the damage is kind of crappy. Yeah, that's kind of crappy damage. But I, I'll hey Whatever. I'll take the crit. Um, and so hunter's mark. And, and hunter's, hunter's mark. mark. Bonus ouchies. Hey. Okay. So it's a total of twenty one damage, and it knocks him back five feet into the pillar. Does hunter's Very mark good. get double damage? If it's yeah, it, it should. Yeah. yeah. Wait. Yeah, what? Yeah. 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 All, All dice, dice rolled. rolled. Mm-hmm. Wait. Yeah. Hunter's Wait. mark as well. Yeah. So roll Hunter's Mark again. Oh, all right. Uh-huh. Come on. Wait, I'm Come sorry. on. What? 21, 20, 23. Nice. Very nice. It was an excellently timed critical roll. <laughs> Very good. Uh, does, he, does he take any uh, damage or anything for hitting the pillar? No. Nope. Do they get attacks of opportunity for moving they do out of their range? Attacks of opportunity because it was forced movement. Well, shit. Okay. <laughs> nice try, though. I'll take it. Yeah. Uh, See, then... I'm, I'm not the only one that tries. Hey. All right. <laughs> it's the game. Right. All right. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and cast Toll of the Dead. Very so good. I will need a wisdom save. 
21. Well, okay then. Well, Maybe good on you. Falkern. No, you, you, you done passed it. So, uh, Falkern is going to go ahead and move up to put herself in between the monster and Persephone. <laughs> oh. Just because... I don't know what you're doing. <laughs> yeah, yeah. She's like, the point of my god is to heal you. <laughs> and I've only got so many of those left. Just clean this mess. Yeah. That's why we don't have nice things. Because uh, uh, my last turn, I stepped in front of Falkrin. Now Falkrin's stepping in front of Persephone. We're just going to rotate. This is the game Silas and I play all the time. All right, Silas, your turn and to play. Usually I lose. Uh, I'm going to make a sidestep, 510, and attack at range. Um, that's just going to be a straight attack. For a critical fail. Critical <laughs> fail, I'm afraid, is a fail. That brings us to the top. Typhon. Got it. Um, hmm. I will have... I'll do its flappy, flappy Wait, thing. Before uh, Silas does have a good point here. He just typed me. I'm so sorry. Um, yeah, you have other stuff you can do if you wish, Silas. You attacked. You moved. You attacked. You've got more movement. You've got a I'm good bonus attack. You're good. You're done. <laughs> Are you done? He nodded. Okay. He said yes. I'm All done. Right. Good. All right, Typhon. All right, I will do. Like I said, flappy, flappy in the face. And flappy, flappy in the face. So, if I were successful, could I give another instance of advantage that would happen at a later point if I were to successfully do something? If I if I had my owl use the help action and, and Typhon used it, would they apply to... Is there a so you want to, to use your owl to give yourself help so that you can no, do no, something? No, to, to use the help action. And then I would also, if I also used the help action, what would happen? Would we be able to apply those two separate attacks or? So the help action from the owl gives an advantage to the next attack. Correct. What is it that you want to do? Got it. All right. I would like to, that. no, that explains it. I will wait until the next attack is made against the creature and then i will hold an action to use minor illusion okay and, um would you like to hear what the yeah tell me what you want to do now i would like to behind just right behind her um the panicked voice of amrick van Thampur, as mm. if he's choking on his own blood mother please help Very right good. behind her Nice. All right, uh, so when we get to that point, I'll have you make a uh, deception check to see whether or not it affects. Very well. Okay. I will say to my illusion says it can be someone else's voice. Yes. So, okay, cool. So it's not Persephone. mimicry, it's just the magic. Cool. Um, So do I have advantage? Is that from the owl? From the owl, you do have advantage. Great. I'm going to cast fairy fire on it. Nice. Uh, That's a uh, deck save? I believe so. Um, um, mm -hmm. Yes, dexterity saving throw. Um, but I. 14. How do I know? Um, what spell my. Spell save DC. It's right under your spell save DC, right next to spell. 15. Oh, so fail. Ah, so a little motes of light begin to sparkle around it. All melee and ranged attacks have advantage. And I'm going to back up. <laughs> uh, five, ten. I'm going to kind of guard my dad here. All right. As you move out of the space that her tail threatens, it lashes uh, out at you. Didn't she already have a reaction? Uh, no, I didn't realize I was going to do an opportunity Oh, attack. that's right. She, she, reacted she already, already and, reacted. and it's her turn is next. So that's right. You get away. Good, good job. <laughs> Thanks, everybody. <All> right. <laughs> Very nice. Um, right. So everyone who wishes to may take an attack opportunity. Oh, is she moving? What? Mm -hmm. She's moving. Anyone? Okay, that, that would have been good to hear first. I'm guessing so she's, moving. Moving. She, she's moving, so whoever she is moving, so whoever is within melee range may make an attack of opportunity. Which direction is she moving? She is moving this way. Well, she comes around jacks. the corner like... 
Okay, oh, yeah, no. okay, so we'll go oh, from the know. top of the screen down. So we'll go Falkrin, Rhea, Silas. All right. Swinging. A 21. 21. Everyone gets advantage, right, too, because of the fairy fire? Yep. And yes. My, er, and well, right. then let's roll again. See if that's a... No, the, you... Oh, yeah. Go ahead. Yeah. We'll stick and with the 21. Yeah, 21. We're going to go to 21. Yeah. Right, cool. So that's 21 with 10 slashing damage. Very good. Next. Ma magical Rhea. slashing. So Rhea goes... She ping pings against the demon. She attacks again. once. <clears throat> I don't think a two on the die roll uh, succeeds. Let's see. Yeah, no, not even close. Um, <laughs> <laughs> that was her advantage roll? Because she oh, gets advantage. Well yeah. remembered. 11. Mm. Oh, she did a, a better, better try. <laughs> yeah. So that brings us to. Silas, with advantage, I will an eight and an eight. So that's a natural oh two and another natural two. Mm. You are having some bad that is a luck. Silas. He just lost his the, This barbed yeah. devil yeah. moves with a strange uh, halting grace as it comes around. It has its, puts its hands on the, the pillar and they scrape the stone as it comes down, leering down at you, Jax, and it slashes at you twice with its claws and its tail comes up from between its legs and tries to pierce you through the skull. Jax. Can I offer you this acorn in tribute? With a, <laughs> with a crit? Oh, well, that misses. Uh, 16? Misses? And a 25. Look what that hits. Goodbye, world. So that is seven, only seven points of damage, piercing oh. damage from the crit, but 10 points of piercing damage from the tail. Ow. <laughs> You're still up? How yep. you doing, Jax? <laughs> Just. She, the reputation I goes both ways there, Imp Slayer. Oh. <sighs> Jax's eyeballs, like here. He's like, I'm fine. Oh, the ten actually. Oh. I could use a react. Oh, no, I could use my reaction. Sorry. Um, do you do you want to use a reaction? I've used my reaction to you get have, away from it right. last time. So, very good. Um, oh, I need to roll to see if it gets its thing back. Thing. Good to know. Um, <laughs> that brings us to. Rhea Mantelmorn, who runs to your side, Jax, and attacks three times. Advantage. With advantage, thank you. Oh, God. Okay. Okay, so that was the... Okay. So much math. Mm. <laughs> Okay. All right. Three hits. But again, the damage does not seem to be that significant. However, every little bit helps. Jax. Ow. Get out of here, buddy. <laughs> oh, you're not very nice. I'm going to stab it. <laughs> <sighs> Uh, 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 give me it. Stabby, stabby. Oh. 29! 29! 29! Oh, yes, That's I've got advantage. Yeah. advantage. I've got advantage, yeah. Hey, yeah. fairy fire. That's not Good very idea, good damage, us. though. <laughs> What's that, 12? Oh, my God. That's terrible damage. Uh, well, it's magic. 20. 24 damage. But it's magic. magic. And I'm going to use Fury of the Small for another 5. 29 Very damage. Good. That's not <laughs> nice. Magic. That's, yeah, that's good. That's still Very magic. good. Now get wow, out of there. Wow, that was a huge hit. Amazing. You bastard. And then I'm going to disengage. Before you disengage, I need you to roll a dexterity saving throw. <sighs> oh, Jax. Well, I can use my reaction. Before your reaction as well, can I not? <laughs> uh, not unless you say it's part it of my. I it's did. part of my character. <laughs> if you end your turn within five foot of me, I can use a reaction. Okay. To move well, fifteen no, wait a minute. foot she away. Ended her turn. Okay. 
So you, are you react? You retroactively? I'm gonna using say again. I'm not it the only one that tries. You're retroactively using your reaction. This is part of the scout. I understand, thing, yeah. but you didn't say it before, right? That was going to be my plan, but yeah, I wanted to stab it and then disengage. But if I could use my reaction to get away from it. So, so what have you done? I'm going to sort have, of like... You have, sta you have stabbed, stabbed it, it, and now you want to use your reaction to get and away. And I want to roly-poly backwards. <laughs> if you had used your reaction first, would you then not have stabbed it? I was going to stab it anyway. Regardless. Roll a uh, percentile. Percentile. Let's make me the most nervous. Right? Yeah. Yes! Nope. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> yes! No. Not this Aww. time. <laughs> what's so what's sorry. that phrase? So the dice show yeah. story. Natural 20. Dexterity, yeah, dexterity. Oh! Ooh! Na a crit. Good. However, you still will take half damage. Oh. And that will be five points of piercing. All right. No. I use my reaction to half that damage. Very good. So that makes it two points of piercing. And then I fall round, and then I disengage. 10, yes. 15, 20, 25, 30. Oh. Very good. Oh, hello, Grandma. <laughs> <laughs> I look a bit beaten up, don't I? <laughs> All right. That brings us to Rim. Okay, uh, question. This yo, yo. young lady in the upper right corner, uh, mm -hmm. do I know who she is? Yes, this is Sissa Elmsweet. She's the one who oh. brought you to um, uh, the Shrine of Suffering the first time. And has she been has she been freed yet? I believe that Sissa has the Dying has been cast upon her. Mm -hmm. Okay, but they're they're still pretty like they're they're useless essentially. Is yes. This? Okay. Thank you. That's all well, I, need. I mean. They could be healed. Right. Um, I don't have anything fun. Um, okay. So uh, I will take my first uh, shot, uh, which is a nineteen. Uh, nineteen is a hit. Yes. Uh, for ten points of. You want to try and get a crit? Uh, no, it, he, he, he rolled an advantage. Uh, nineteen and seventeen. Oh, that was sorry. Yeah. So sorry. I, I look at. Some of them don't come up double like that. Right. Um, and then the second attack will be uh, a 22 so for another nine points of piercing right. damage. Oh, Again. and that's double bonus ouchies for those. Sorry, hold on a second. Uh, add another seven to those totals, please. All right, so a total of 19, 19 26. 26. It'd be a 16 and a 10, right? Uh, yes. Six or twenty-six, right? Yes. Right. To, the arrows stick in its hide, and it growls and turns to look at you. However, the damage doesn't seem to have been that that much. That's all I can do Not right now. Not nearly as much as you thought it would. It should be. Yeah. Not like Jacks the giant, the, the imp slayer. That's mm -hmm. right. Very good. That brings That's, us to you. Just actually, you accidentally just coined a new one. This is just a giant imp. <laughs> yeah, it is, yeah. Just right. a giant imp. Yeah, yeah. Falkrin. Mm -hmm. All right, so Falkrin's going to charge up and around this column and then swing Quietus. And that will do. Come on, darling. First roll is an 11. With but with advantage. advantage. But with advantage, we are correct. And second roll. <laughs> is a nine. So yeah. So between the eleven and the nine, I imagine things don't go look so well. You do not manage to land an attack. I'm afraid. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. All right. Silas. Going to step forward to there, and at range attack with my glaive, and this is with advantage. Twenty-three to hit. That is nice. a hit. Or 13 magic damage. 13 magic damage. Woo! You guys are doing well. Excellent. And then to I'm going to take so a step back. <laughs> and a step back. And then I'm done. Right. She's already used her advantage, uh, her uh, reaction. I, I don't know that I ever got in her range. 10 feet? Oh, her range is 10? Okay. Yeah, with her tail, it's 10. <laughs> gotcha. Great. But that brings us to Tafan. So, am I am I allowed to do held actions on this? 
Alrighty. Cool. Um, so Persephone. Okay. Uh, I think it would be foolish not to heal myself, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that. As a note, uh, Persephone, you're no longer protected by my spell because I have another concentration happening. Okay. So thank you. Thank you, thank you, Typhon. Ooh, uh, healing word for ten. All right. Very uh, good. You are healed for ten. That's me. That is t- Persephone. Hmm. Do, 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 do. Hmm. One moment, please. I'm digging this music, by the way, Sean. Good. Oh, yeah. We appreciate everybody on Twitch sticking with us after the uh, the video feed dropped and came back. Mm, oh, I did I it? Did yeah, for some reason. Yeah. All right. It's going to attack you. Follow do I get now. my held You do. Thing? Okay. I will do so. I'm reloading roll 20 because of issues of today. We'll roll an advantage, shocking grasp at a wait for it, wait for it, wait for it. Aaron Burr. Sorry, guys. <laughs> I watched it's, that for the um, first time. It's, it's so it's I'm having, having some, some trouble yep. communicating no, here. If it doesn't work with this reload, I will just uh, do a slash roll. Got it. This looks like it should work. All right. Shocking grasp at a 20. Nice. 20 hits. All right. Nine points of lightning damage and nine, no more reactions. Nine points of lightning damage. Very nice. No more reactions for this turn. Wow. It is starting to not look good, you guys. <clears throat> Or whom? <laughs> yeah, right. For it, it has bits and pieces. You can see black, icarish blood pouring from various places where it's been stuck with arrows. It's got smoke rising from its hide from where it's just been hit by spells. <laughs> it turns to you, Falkren, and it attacks with two claws and its tail. Crit. <gasps> uh. <gasps> what? It's a 15. Uh, it's a roll 20 tradition. All right. 15? Uh, fif- 15 damage. 15 uh, does not hit, correct? Oh, 15 does not hit. No, right. yeah. 15 does not hit. And then a 23. Uh, 23 will hit. Yeah. So the 23 is the tail. That is 11 piercing damage. All right. The claw is max damage. Damn. 14. Wait. Yeah. 14 points of piercing damage. All right. That's so 2d6 plus... No, not quite, not quite max damage. One right, so, off max damage. So I had 14 damage, and then I thought there was another hit that landed on me? No, so the one of the claws hit with a crit, right. which was only a d6, but then doubled, so that's 2d6 plus 3. Okay. Um, so that's so th- 11. No, 12. 12 points of damage plus the 11 piercing damage from the tail. So that's a total of 23. Okay. I hate math. Oh. You and me, 23 both. points of piercing. So, oh, I totally botched this. Okay, uh, I'm still alive. That's good to know. Yay. Glad uh, to hear it. Yeah, right. <laughs> Ray Mental Moon attacks. Only hits once this time. She's just wailing away at it. Which brings us to Jax. Okay. Can I... Am I in line of sight? If one... Yeah, one corner of your square can reach one corner of hers, yes. You are in line of sight. Uh, I move here, well, behind it, and then hide. Mm -hmm. Okay. She saw you do that. Because I can't hide. So in order to in order to get the stealth, as I understand, the way stealth works is you stealth. Mm -hmm. You now have the opportunity 
kind of looking to see if she's looking away or whatever to move to another place and attack from there. And yeah. that will be a successful attack with stealth. Okay. Um, I will try to move to, the, say, there then. Yep, that would work. And then stealth, 20? 20 is a hit. T 20 stealth, that is, sorry. Oh, 20 stealth, excuse me. Let's see what she's got. I just got bumped out. <laughs> so, cast to another plane then? Nice. <laughs> so, she does not see your stealthing. Peer out and shoot her with my non magic bow for shoot 26. Her. Shoot her! 26! 26. 26. Wow! She is not looking good at all. 20, 24 damage. 24 damage. Yeah, 26 to hit. 24. 26, 26 to, to hit. hit. Oh, 24, 24 damage. Four damage. Okay, yeah. so she's still not looking really good. <laughs> but. That's not so, magical, though, right? Not magical. Yeah, not magical. Oh, thank you. Okay. She's fine. She's, she could be just fine. Uh, 25, 30. And that's all I can do. All right. Uh, 25, 30. I'll go there. That's me. Brings done. us to Rim. All right. Uh, he knows they're not very effective, but he's just for flavor going to aim at her face. Okay. Um, and uh, a 27 and a 23 to hit. Both of those hit. Um, so let's see. Uh, the first one does 10 points of damage. So not magical. Five. And then the second one does eight points of damage. So n nine. The final blow is yours, Rim. Oh, all right. Uh, that's very exciting. Uh, Rim draws his uh, his two arrows back uh, simultaneously, actually, and uh, he growls under his breath, "Where are your dead three now, bitch?" And he releases <laughs> both of them, and they shoot. Uh, into uh, into her face, and one lodges into uh, into her brain, and she falls. <laughs> she explodes in a cloud of smoke and fire and flesh. It smells of brimstone. Covers you, Falkron. Colors Rhea. But that is all. She That's is save no our more. people. Yes. Rim immediately runs to Sissa and uh, uh, attempts to stay. Would that would stabilizing medicine checks? Would that would that do anything? She's already stabilized. Sissa. She's, she's already stabilized. stabilized. Yeah, she's stabilized. Okay. I have uh, no healing. My dad is not stabilized. Your dad is stabilized. Oh, okay. Dad is stabilized. Uh, then I'm gonna try. I'm gonna cut down. My mom? Oh, I I do apologize. Uh, Tarina has also died. <laughs> oh! I forgot to mention that. Yeah, Tarina, oh. Tarina died. She was the first one to try. I'm sorry. That's okay. It was so unhelpful. It's okay. I had a very... Uh, well, actually, I'll just... My character didn't know that, so I run over Who's, to which my mom. Tarina? My mom. Oh, God. <laughs> like, Wait. Um, well, I, so I don't say that to Persephone. I'm like... <laughs> Uh, I run over because I don't know that, and I go to cut her down. And, and her uh, head, her head rolls limply, and you see she, her eyes are open and staring at you. And Persephone screams and backs away. No, okay. I'm sorry. Just to be absolutely careful, yes. and clear before you go too far oh. into this. Tarina is this one. Oh my gosh! Your mom's I'm okay. So sorry, my mom. Tarina, okay. Tarina was your, we your met her in the we met her in the Elf Song Tavern. Yes, yeah? your mother's name is Onan. Thank you. So sorry. <laughs> I'm so sorry. That was ridiculous. It's been a very traumatic battle. <laughs> That's all right. Wait, well, there make... was some pointing going on that I don't think was showing up. So I think there yeah. might have been some pinging that wasn't <laughs> pinging on the, the player layer. Yeah. Yeah, now Thank I can you. see now some you can see. But she looks right. pretty. What way to make me feel that's like our, an that's ass. That's our pirate lady. <laughs> right. Yeah, she died She died in darkness, and I didn't want to say anything because nobody could see it, but I forgot to mark it. So oh, I love the idea that oh. Persephone was like, the bartender! No! <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> and more hey, like I, a I, I, thing. I feel and attacked. That, ladies and gentlemen, is an actor. Like, <laughs> <laughs> I feel personally attacked. I feel personally, <laughs> I feel singled out somehow. <laughs> All right, then I go and um, cut my mom down, who's not dead, which is great. <laughs> <laughs> mm-hmm. Always great to cut down a not dead mom. <laughs> <Indeed>. <laughs> That's your album title. Scott. There it is. <laughs> Always good to cut down a not dead mom. That's the name of our group. Not dead moms. <laughs> the, the, the pirate lady formerly known as mom. Moms. God, I love it. Well done, everybody. That was a oh. very, very tough fight. We're mm-hmm. now called the but giant imp slayers. Giant imp slayers. I told you, I gave you I'm my I'm trying own. to revive uh, Andrelore, DM. Uh, oh. I, I gave my honest honest name. It was Snot Goblin. So, 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 Sean, like, can I can I turn to Andrelore? And, like, is it, is it, how bad is it? He like, appears to be dead. And no, and no amount of spare the dying. Because poor Doran uh, is just crushed. <laughs> like he doesn't. Yeah, Cor- Doran is, is. Yeah. Is, He's in. Splattered. X. Parrot. All right. So. Does he still have the All fancy right. sword? He does not. Oh. Um, uh, Silas. So you are standing over the body of your mentor. I'm checking to see if he's. Adventure dead or NPC dead? Make a medicine check. Uh, at advantage, I'll go help you. I'll probably need it for a medicine check. Yeah, I'll, I'll yeah, I'll, I mean, I'm already there checking, so I'll 13. give you a 13. I, oh, I was going to say, maybe I should do it since I'm proficient. Uh, is it too late? I would have let somebody else do it. All oh, right. Oh, go yeah. ahead. <laughs> go ahead. Sorry, Rim. Sorry guys. Um, how- 14. <laughs> 14. Um, he looks, all of these people look like they have been brutally whipped. Just whipped almost to the point of death. However, that doesn't seem to be why he is no more. Something hit him that was not physical. Uh, she, I remember in the battle, she grabbed the whip and something happened to him. Yes, she didn't she actually whip her, him, but she something used the reaction. Happened. Uh, is the whip still visible? Yeah, it's lying on the ground where she dropped it when she died. Is it still glowing? It is not. Hmm. It just looks like a normal whip. And Silas, Andrelor is as dead as you've ever seen anything. I cut his other arm down because he just had one hand free mm-hmm. and then pull him down uh, obviously distressed because no one else actually knows who this guy is right? other than an elf um, but I pull him down obviously distressed and I just sit on the stone floor cradling his dead body The statue of this celestial figure looks down upon you. Let's see. Going up to Typhon, what are you doing? Um, I was going to look and search the room for um, magical items, objects, that type of thing. So I wanted to uh, begin casting Detect Magic. Very good. The tech magic was in effect in 11 minutes. Ray Mantle Morn is panting. So, Fabius Krieg, right? What? Oh, I need to find Fabius Krieg, the overseer of Elderell. He's down mm, here That's somewhere. who we're actually here for, yes, Rhea. You know all these people. They don't even run out of fan tempers. She looks over at the that Doran, who's dead, is it? it? Looks like he was a captain. He no, was. A lieutenant. And a brave man. I'm 
sorry for your losses. While this is happening, I'm, uh, I'm just trying to get my parents in the same place. So I, do I have to drag them? Can they walk? Mm, they are unconscious. But you could certainly drag them. Where would you like to drag them? Well, I'll just bring my mother to over closer to my father. Uh, do, uh, do they seem stable? They do seem stable, yes. Okay. Silas. Give me the word and I can try to save him. If you can try, then try. All right. I re uh, you see Falkron reach under her um, jacket. Before you do that, there is a time limit to when you can cast Revivify. And Fair enough. Passed. And we've passed it. All right. It's a so, uh, so I go ahead and like, so she, you see her like reach into her, into her shirt and then she puts her hand on his forehead. Yes. Fallen into shadow. Why can't you save her? Save him. He's beyond me. Why can't I save her? Why can't I save him? Silas is... It's not your fault. I saved him. I saved her. I saved him. I... I saved you. Yes. yes you Why have. can't you? Because I'm not strong enough. I'm sorry. Falkrum begins to say a prayer of passing over the corpse, hoping to guide him to the afterlife that he wishes. Jax will stumble around looking for any items that have been dropped through all the guts and glory that we've caused. Make an investigation check. Roll, damn it. 17. You find an ornate dagger. This is the one that the Lamra <laughs> Bantampur used to uh, oh. kill herself. I was going to ask if I could find that <laughs> beforehand. It is in and amongst the chunks of the devil that she became. And yeah, it okay. is it is curved. It's like a, a got a bit of a half moon um, shape. The one end of it looks like a dragon breathing flame and the, the dagger part comes out of the flame. It looks like it's made of gold pearl inlay. Very fine. Oh, it looks like an imp head. Deservedly so for the imp slayer. I'll pick it up anyway and I'll carry on looking around. Very good. Typhon, detect magic goes off. Okay. You detect very strong necromatic magic coming from the Okay. Okay, I'll stumble up to it. Well, so hold on, Jax, hold on. Uh you you're looking, if I may say, terrible. That's not very nice. Well, <laughs> But it's true. I'm a bit battered and bruised. All right. Uh, so I, I take a quick, quick glance around the room, Sean, to see just like who is worse for the wear. Um, if if it I'm. It seems that I mean. Do you have any healing left to give? Uh, I, I got I got one one more hit in the tank. But... Yeah. No one hold on to that one. <clears throat> As he ah, looks around, I will turn to him bastard. and say. Uh, um, Falcon, though, you may have been too late for the last one. For this bit of healing, I suggest you wait until one of us is dying. Our own, our very skin and blood is a resource we can use against the enemy. So wait until one of us has no more to give. Mm -hmm. It will take everything. I don't want to die. I I've think. got lots to give. <laughs> um, Sean, I'm going to cast Goodberry 
Uh, how long does, it, does that take? A while? Nope. All right. Uh, I'm going to do that, and uh, I will. Do you have the... <coughs> excuse me. The components? I don't... Does it just creates them, doesn't it? I think it just creates them. Yeah. Um, I yep. need to research my spells. But... Yep. Ten um, berries. All right. Ten berries appear. Just, you just sort of... Oh, look. These berries are on the ground here. Pull up, <laughs> you have a handful of ten um, little blueberries. Uh, I'm going to uh, use uh, one for each unconscious uh, victim that's still with us, which is the parents and Sissa, is that correct? Mm -hmm. And then uh, I'll give the rest to Jax. Oh, right. they look disgusted. What do they taste like? They taste like healing. Like healing. Is that the same taste as fish? Just eat them, little. Uh, I'll eat them. That would All be right, seven with points. One, with one point of healing, everyone who is unconscious regains consciousness. You see some of the color come back into all of their skins. And they're just... Uh, Persephone. Oh, my God. I'm so glad you're both okay. Oh. How did you get here? Where are we? We're in the Van Thamper Manor. You were... What? You were captured or something. We were... There was someone at the door. Oh, my head. Oh, my back. Oh, I can barely move. And your mother groans and sort of falls forward a little bit. And just, you see... Her back, her clothes are just tatters. Skin is just, it's its started to heal just a little tiny bit, but they are in very bad shape. They both don't have that many hit points to begin with, and they are at one. We have to get them out of here or, or heal them or, or something. Sissa is over by you, Falcon, and she's like, oh. Falcon. Yes, I'm here, Sessa. I'm here. It's all right. They came, they came up from the crypt. Is I know. I know. Your father sent me. He's safe. He's all right. He's all right. He's all right. Oh, forgive me. One moment. No, of course. Of course. And she touches her forehead with her hand, and there's a little glow of blue energy, and her complexion flushes, and you see wounds on her all begin to heal. And she takes a deep breath. That's better. You are your father's daughter. Why? Why this? The, the, the wounded. I see. I can smell the blood. Yes. Why don't you take me to them? Please right. come here. Oh, here, come help you. And so, then, as as I as I pick Sissa up and sort of, oh, well, pick her up. I, as I help her to her feet, I also take my uh, periapt and put it back over my head. Okay. So. Rim, these taste like rabbit droppings. You're welcome. You got and eight. So that was uh, seven, 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 points. seven yeah. points. Is so that so it comes over to the steel hollows? Go ahead, um, Typhon. And I, w I was going to say, well, this is kind of happening. I would whisper to Rim. I said, Rim, would you keep a level head and keep watch while the rest of the group regathers their wits? Of course. Steal yourself, Typhon. Yes. I found this dagger. <laughs> Is it magical? That would be a no. Oh, no. Oh. Okay. Is it it's worth, worth anything? It's, it's, it's worth far more than just magic. Oh, a lot of gold. Purposes. Probably. Oh, okay. Now, would you look inside that head and see what oh, we have well, I do feel a little bit better. I suppose I could climb up there now. Silas. You do find a holy symbol of Vandria Gamadreth in anything else? Values. I take it. Simple, made of steel. Does anyone have minor magic that would create a fire? I have prestidigitation. Does that create a fire? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Hmm? 
you can light a fire, but the fire ha it has to be built. You can't just create fire. You have to have like create the fuel for it, but then you can light. It's like basically using magic to. We do to have candles. A... Oh yeah, I'm gonna pull one of the candles out. Is it still darkness on it? Yes. Oh, <laughs> I've got two of these. I'll put it back. We have dark grenades. <laughs> um. Uh, I'm going to go over to Doran and gently pull some fabric from his tabard. All right. Uh, where do you want the fire, Silas? Before you do I... that, just to just to, to take care of this, Sissa kneels down between your parents and she holds out her hands and says, "The God of Suffering." back your light and healing magic courses through her arms and their wounds just close up completely the mine as well she hasn't touched you <laughs> um and so they are now restored to full four hit points <sighs> she doesn't like goblins i don't like goblins either i'm gonna climb the she statue looks around and she says I'm afraid I don't have very much left. Is this anyone else? Anyone? Anyone? Oh, I, I, poor thing. And she looks over at you, Jax. Come here. I, th I think she might be blind. I'll go over. No, but she is kind. Will she smite me? Yeah, as long as you behave, I think you'll be all right. Aren't you just the cutest? And she reaps out and she pulls your cheek and it <laughs> <laughs> Oh, 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 he's got a temper. Yeah, yeah. Oh, she's being nice. Oh, okay. Um So I didn't have to roll for her for the other ones because four hit points. But for this one I will. Oh. <laughs> lovely. Uh please take four points of healing. <laughs> four points. So right. so when will you do it then? <laughs> um, I'm afraid that's all I have left. What's your name? Jacks the imp, imp, the giant imp slayer. <laughs> Jacks the imp, the imp, the giant imp slayer. <laughs> <laughs> Any of them? He's a polymorph noble. She looks at you with an eyebrow raise. I think I think I know a goblin when I see one. <laughs> do, do you well, like my glasses? Say... I do like your glasses. They give you an air of erudition. That sounds good. <laughs> um, all right. Anybody else? Silas, uh, I, you believe you have a pyre to build. Yeah, I was just going to try to quickly, just so that we don't run into, you know, undead Doran demon uh, down the road. Always a possibility. Uh, also wanted to just generally muck up this uh, big holy symbol here. Hmm. Could one just repeatedly sacred flame a body to cremate it? Well, it's radiant damage. It's like so it would do... Super holy cremation. It targets a person. <laughs> yeah, but it doesn't do fire damage. Yeah, sure. Okay. Radiant damage. A combination of prestidigitation and just, sacred flame. I'm just thinking that's a different... But as opposed to setting an indoor fire in yeah. a room that we're inside, it might be a little... Yes, wow. repeated sacred flame will cremate the bodies in a clean and sanitary fashion. And the radiant damage will hurt the symbol of the demon devil person thing. Yes. Well, it does leave a cleared spot in the middle. However, the, uh, the, the black is onyx inlaid into the stone. The blood is just caked on bloodstain so that in the middle oh. where wherever the fire has happened that is um that is cleared but other than that there does not seem to now this effect. was the symbol of the existing ruler of hell right the, the existing level. ruler of hell is uh asmodeus and, and that wasn't... is a red symbol like this on a black background and it's been established by religion checks in the past that the black symbol on a red background is the symbol 
of Zario, who is the ruler of the first level of hell. Okay, I so, heard Asmodeus when we walked in the room, so I wanted to make sure. Removing the red The symbol that, of Asmodeus was on the outside. Ah, removing the red would make it not the evil symbol that it is right now, then, correct? No, it, it's evil no matter what. It's the existing yeah. ruler yeah. of hell versus the upstart ruler. Ah, I see, I see, okay. No, no, uh, no, so the ruler of hell is Asmodeus. He's the ruler of the ninth level. So all other rulers of hell are subordinate to him. Okay. And the symbol that we keep seeing is a perversion of a devil's symbol. Make a religion check. We keep Ooh. seeing this one, don't we? You. Well, I mean. question, the question you've just asked, Silas, make a religion check. Well, you've mentioned before that it's a perversion, at least, because it's who would use the same colors. Well, we... And yeah. Eight. All right. Um, that would be one way to interpret it. Do we know the... We know this... We've been told a bit the story of Zariel before, right? I do not believe anybody has asked anybody with that information, but you may make a... Um, either a history or a religion check. Hmm. Someone else here proficient with religion that would like to discuss with me? I certainly shall. Okay. Let's do that. Try to come up with the answer yeah. here. So. 18. 18. Religion. What was your question? Sort of... I'm, I'm trying to put together sort of the inscription outside and what we're seeing here and maybe draw some very good so the trying to bring some player knowledge what, into character the, knowledge the uh what what falls can rise again right. is the motto on the outside the symbol leading into here was the symbol of asmodeus who re, who um rules the ninth level of hell or baator which is another name for it he rules Nessus, which is the ninth and deepest hell, although he is in charge of all of hell. He is the leader. He is a god with a capital G. The rulers of hell, all the levels below him, leading all the way up to Avernus, which is the first level of hell, are all very powerful devils, but they all serve him, including this one. This is the symbol of Zariel. She has taken as her symbol the sign of Asmodeus in homage to him, but she yep. has reversed the colors to make it specific to her. As far as you know, it is not a perversion. It is an honor. Do we know that, the the with the inscription of before the any of her story? Yes. Um you know that Zariel was at one point a celestial being, a valiant fighter for good. She led an army known as the Hell Riders. Yeah, I suppose Rhea would probably join in this. Discussion. Hundreds of years ago, <laughs> hundreds of years ago, led an attack on Hell itself with a vast army of powerful mortal paladins, spellcasters creatures of faith and they were repulsed and she fell but instead of dying she was offered the position of ruling Avernus in place of Baal who she had slain not slain she had defeated and Asmodeus was impressed and offered the job to her, and she took it. And as far as you can tell, the statue in this room is the statue of Zariel in her celestial form. And Rhea comes over. That's right. That's what we were taught. At this point, you look to the statue, and you can see Jack's climbing it. 200 years ago, she led an army the Hell Riders. They took that name. She came down, rescued a village, trained people, taught them how to fight what they needed in order to fight the fiends of hell. 
she opened a great gate in the air and they marched through when they came back there were only a few of them and Zariel did not return and took the name Hellriders and it's been an honor to bear it those of us who fight in the lands of Elthegard holy land holy warriors we remember the sacrifice of those who went before us to try and do an impossible task even though they knew it was impossible hmm. do you mean Rhea that you think this fallen creature should be glorified of course not now since then she's she's fallen right she's whatever good she may have done in the past has been wiped out by the terrible things that she's done as a ruler of Avernus I, I don't not privy to the details but she's a devil she's a ruler of one of the levels of hell there is no greater definition of evil unless of course you speak Speak of the Dark One itself. No. She was brave. But she should have died. Not surrendered. Jack, it by seems, this point... You know, go oh, ahead, Typhon. It seems the good legacy she leaves behind comes from the goodness of the acts of those who followed her and fight for an ideal rather than those who simply follow the divine being that is correct that at least that's what we try to do well, what we tried to do keep fighting for what you believe Rhea. fight hard ride hard well then we need to find Thavius, Thavius Creek He's my liege and lord. If anyone knows what has happened to Eldorel, it's him. He'll at least give me some direction. I owe him my fealty. Uh, Rim is going to start looking around the room for uh, if there are other hidden doors or, or entrances that we All right, hold, hold that thought there, sure. Rim. Sure. Um, yes, indeed, um, Scott, there was a magic evocation aura coming from the head of the statue. I, I don't know that. I think it was Typhon? Yeah, I said that. Oh, I'm yeah. sorry, didn't, I, didn't, didn't say it. Yep. I didn't mean to confuse. I was eyeing Silas as I was speaking to Rhea, saying the goodness of the action comes from that those who commit the action rather than the um, being that inspires them sort of so yeah that was a collision yeah so i, right. no, I, I was time. i was actually just sorry a player uh d did anybody do anything about the magic we're getting I, there i think getting, okay. Okay. Is climbing up magic in the head because i look i sense <laughs> that a certain goblin is impatient and he's about to meta up to the head yeah no so i was all oh, he's already been told about this is all this conversation <laughs> about he's like, uh, this head about devils and history and all that you're like and you begin to climb up the statue. Okay. Not difficult to do. You Typhon's already to told him about it. So. Mm -hmm. The statue appears to be made of stone, and as you get to the top, as you knock against it, you can tell it's, it's hollow up there. You're about uh, 15 feet off the ground. I would just like to reference, uh, none of us did it, but one of our lovely Twitch viewers made sure to get in a Money Python reference. Oh, well, it doesn't count unless one of us does it. I'm sorry. Oh. <laughs> this game is a fail. <laughs> um, so you reach the top and uh, it appears to be hollow um, it is all stone however the blindfold is stone the halo is stone all of it and there's light coming out from slits below the bandage on the top and on the bottom well, I'm gonna move out of the way of where the eyes would see and then remove the bandage it's not. It, the bandage is made of stone. Oh, okay. It's part of okay. the statue. I look for any sort of the. I'm just gonna. Any catches? Any like buttons? Any you know? Make an investigation. Where's this coming from? Sort of thing. Sixteen. Meanwhile, 
you find no such things. Um, the more you look at this head, the more you believe that it was put into the statue as part. The, the top part of this head was cast around it. So it's actually not stone. It's more of a plaster or a porcelain that has been cast around whatever is inside it. And what's coming out like a light? Just light, yes. Like, like a continue flame sort of thing. This is Lee talking, not Jack. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Jack oh yes, I'm sorry, yeah. It just, it, it appears to be normal light. Okay. It doesn't flicker like a flame or anything like that. It's just light emanating. I look inside to see if I can see anything in. <laughs> you I'm put blind. your eye right up to it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Don't look directly at it, Jax. Um, <laughs> yeah. I've yeah, got these is, weird I, spots on my eyes. Yeah, as you get closer, all the things that would normally happen from looking like directly into a light bulb happen. But um, other than that, nothing bad. You're blinded forever. I've got blind. Meanwhile, Falkran's looking at the stone going, I don't know if this is stone. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Uh, while you decide what you're going to do, Jax, Rim, make your investigation check, please. Uh, oh, natural 20. Natural 20. You are looking around and you look at these tapestries, these nine tapestries, and they each seem to display these horrible locations. Um, you see the one directly behind, um, up behind the statue looks like a blasted wasteland, flame, fire. Um, you see a few representations that look like fighting armies, that sort of thing, but it's just desolation. Going around, you see various other parts. Uh, you see an area that looks like a giant amount of ice. You look, you see a place that has just tons of, of ruins, just bits and pieces of massive buildings that have been crushed and crumbled and just strewn about. And there's a huge uh, tower that looks like it's been built out of a head of some massive, massive creature. Um, throughout each one of these tapestries, there is a river that seems to connect them all. You come to the final one over here, and you realize that it's shorter than all the other ones. The tapestry itself or mm -hmm. the river? The tapestry itself. So you see the one behind the statue and all of the ones going on are of a size. This one is shorter and you find a secret door in this corner and in this corner. Could you uh, hit those corners again, Sean? Yes, I can. Everyone uh, see? I, mm -hmm. yes. I will, uh, I will call out to my friends and, and point this out to them. Very well, everyone is so noted. Next, um, anybody else have anything they wish to do before Jax does whatever it is he's gonna do? <laughs> Your uh, parents are fussing over you. Uh, I I asked them what they remember, what the last thing they remember I know, is. I don't really remember anything. There was somebody at the door and we came and I said, oh, well, next thing I knew there was darkness and then head hurt yes yes i saw your father then he was he was somebody threw a bag over his head and pulled him out and then this thug came in and i screamed but before i could say anything a, a hand came around from behind me and and i i don't remember anything else we have to get you home don't worry we will yes please please we should get home um, uh my cloak of uh transportation only allows one dimension Correct. door only allows one person to come with me right that's right okay. but you could give it to uh but you could choose the parent you like the most <laughs> give you could give the cloak to your mom and have her take both of them back and then just recollect it later yes definitely would it be a later I, though I'm, I'm afraid we won't get back yeah, to them uh, if if we just let them go again we we butchered our, butchered our way into this place, and then we chilled out for an hour. There's no getting out of here easy. There is no set the NPCs free to make their way back. They're, yeah. They would not make it off the grounds. 
they either stick with us or there's magic to get them out. Mm -hmm. Right. Jax, what are you up to? I'm going to stick my dagger in here and try and have a look. All right, you're going to try and break the statue? Maybe. Make I, I think I think he's recreating the cover of a particular is, book tough. from yeah, first edition. It's... I believe he's Am I? prying an eyeball <laughs> yeah. out, but it's 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 the cre it's the monster prying out from the person instead of the person prying out that monster. Do be careful, Jax. This is going to kill me, isn't it? Eleven. Eleven. Well, eleven is enough to hit the object, and it's a magic dagger. You don't get sneak attack because it doesn't have a discernible anatomy, but you are able to wedge the dagger in and you twist it and there's a crack that appears along the porcelain of the face. Oh, I did it. I solved it. <laughs> is that How it? tall is the statue? Well, 15 feet. 15. Yeah. So there's a crack. And I turn I around go ahead and say that. it looks like something that you could crack again and it would probably be open. In fact, you, with this crack, you could probably just sort of reach in and knock off a section of it. And I, I shout up to Jax. is like, Jax, might want to put the bag of holding on top of it first. Interesting. I'm going to hold my glaive in an obvious readied attack on the head. Okay. I'm holding it. I'm getting ready to whack it like, like, I'm waiting to see what Jax is going to do, but I'm going to take that thing's head no well, matter what. Jax is quite curious of what that will do with the bag of holding, so he's going to try that. <laughs> well, the light goes out. You no longer see it. All right, I'll try to take the head off. Uh, okay, I'll try again. Make a... Um, so you're just like trying to physically rip off this porcelain head, or you yeah. want to like, crush it? I try to rip it off. All right, make a, an athletics check. Oh, athletics, okay. 21. Oh, wow. There's a... As uh, with the uh, the damage you've already done, it, the porcelain cracks as you're just like... And it comes off. But well only But only the porcelain comes off. It crumbles and cracks oh. away in your hand. Some of it falls into the bag of holding. And you feel something inside the bag of holding now. It feels hard. Um very dense like there was something inside huh. put my head in and have a look no oh, god <laughs> well, um it's an interesting experience being inside a bag of holding you can feel it sort of trying to suck on you trying there's it's not enough that it's actually going to pull you in but there's definitely there's definitely a hunger the bag wants more stuff. I'm looking it around with my dark vision. You can't really see anything. We got the sentient bag of holding. <laughs> <laughs> it's a mimic. I get my head out and I'm like, my eyes Another are still blind. It's, this whole time it's been a mimic with indigestion. Oh. <laughs> it's, it's the sorting hat. Um, so uh, you look, you, so you put your head in and you look right next to the this is a very strange visual i'm trying to get wrap my head around it but sticking in the neck of the statue now which is being covered by the bag of holding appears to be a glowing hammer oh glowing war hammer i gotta pull it out it is definitely in there this part it is fastened into stone it was covered in plaster but this the handle is actually in the stone, somebody has driven it in there. You, can try, and, you can try and pull it out with an with an athletics check. Yeah, go for it. Nineteen. Oh my god, dude! Oh my goodness, that is enough. Beast. This beefcake <laughs> goblin. <All> right. <laughs> so you you pull off the bag of holding, you put it away, and you look. You give this um this hammer a, a look, and you sort of size it up. And put your hands on either side of it. And of course, now everybody's looking at it because it is a brightly glowing hammer. I just want to add that Jax is extremely scrawny. <laughs> you put your hands on either side of it and everybody's like, no, no way. And you just... <laughs> it's very heavy. It's 
No. Make an athletics check to see if you can hold on it's to it. Nothing to a mighty. I'm going to roll a one now. Thirteen. <laughs> you hold on to it. But you're like, whoa! Mm. Ah, ah. You are perched precariously on top of this statue, holding a very heavy warhammer. Uh, I'm seeing him start to teeter, and I'm immediately like, like. Oh, I claim this as my him. prize, and then <laughs> I fall off. Check, 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 check. <laughs> I'll catch him. Is the head of the statue gone? It is gone. I lose interest. Uh, I found a glowy thing. You put um, it on the ground. King. Is it magical, Silas? I mean, Typhon. Ooh, I believe ooh. detect magic has gone down. Yeah, oh, it's still ten up. minutes in it. Yeah. yeah, I think by now it's gone down. It, it's, it's probably logical magical. to yeah. assume that that was it. So it's obviously magical, and it's yes. obviously the source of the light from within the porcelain. Well done. Can can we get a description of what type of hammer, what it looks like? Is yeah. it carved with demonic runes? Is it is it a ball peen hammer? Is it, it a war is hammer? A, it is a war hammer. One side of it is a spike. The other side of it comes out like a ball peen hammer, but then has a very flat edge. And on the front of it is a symbol a symbol of tear. That's a god in Forgotten Realms, right? Mm -hmm. Good, okay. good enough. Yeah, um, um, and the um, it, that would be a very well known, yes, common so, god. So everyone in general should have knowledge of that, Mister DM. If you would like to share, uh, yes, Texas got no idea. I'm going to have to look it up because I studied other things before this game. That's okay. Darker uh, and more evil uh, things. God of tier, justice. Tier is uh, n not directly to the uh, Norwegian god of same name. Um, as Sean goes to pull it up, but it's one of the major good gods. Yeah, Forgotten Realms. Right. The so that stalwart. this would be inside the uh, tier the, head of the an evil statue. So right. go ahead, Sean. Um, uh, the god of knowledge, law, retribution, and war. Um, holy justices is the names that are given to their clerics. Um, you know, tier is the god of justice. The hammer has a, a red leather binding on the um, the haft, and it is glowing. I like lift it up, put it on my shoulder, and just like start walking backwards with it. <laughs> and it'll fall over. <laughs> I might be good in the battle with this one. I need to practice. That's, That's the type of hammer that would be a proper hammer for a holy warrior to wield. Oh, I've always wanted to be a holy warrior. Jax, I, I feel like... I don't like... think you can actually lift that to swing it, Jax. I feel like Falcron might be better suited for that particular weapon. Rubbish, I can lift this perfectly and I'll try to swing it and probably do about three sixties. <laughs> it, fly, it flies across the room and I fly across the other room. Well, now, Jax... That's not a very sneaky weapon. It's true. Okay, you can buy it off me. All right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that sounds great. Uh, I've got all. Oh, I've got a backpack full of meat. Oh, that sounds like a good deal. <laughs> <laughs> it's yours. You definitely don't have a backpack full of rations. <laughs> All now. right, so two secret doors, my friends. Which one do you choose? Um, one to the south and one to the west. Do they look any two different from each other? No, they look identical, made look identical. at the same time by the same hand. Mm -hmm. Oh, so you. Um, which uh, can you tell me the description of the? This might not make a difference at all, but the description of which hell is uh, here and which hell is closer to the one. So this is south. Nessus, Nessus, which is the uh, ninth layer of hell, and this is Avernus, which is the first. Uh, south, friends? Hmm. Let's just pick one and choose. I'm good at the past behind the statue. And Let's our, go. Our friends are just coming with us. I guess they stay in the back. Uh, Oops. Uh, yeah, so like, and then... then... Um, I'm going to take a, a hot moment and say a prayer over uh, Doran and just thank him for his services. Uh, right. One moment, please. Why, what did he do? 
He didn't do any fighting in that. Oh, I recognize him. So this will reveal some people who should not be here anymore. So please disregard. There we go. So um, obviously I created a new map for that fight, but now that we that fight is done, you are back in this room. Um, secret door ha and secret door ha. I'm determined to go down the path of the one that's closest to the statue, whichever one that is. Well, to your to your view, it appears to be Well, that didn't work. Uh, well, all right. So the handy dandy little things that are supposed to indicate secrets went someplace else as opposed to where I wanted them to go. But there is one right here in this corner here. And there is one right here. Which ones do you want to go through? Let's start with the one to the south, Sean. All right. Oh, well, all right. D&D &D Beyond has failed me. Please hold. Again, they're, they're known to be experiencing some issues, so it's just a matter of uh, getting it stabilized. Running a service in real time is hard. Yes, indeed. Mm -hmm. Oh, Especially look, it's back up. In the coronavirus era, where I'm sure more people are using it Oh, than ever. so many people flocking. It's it's uh, prime oh. time, too, because it's West Coast. Right? Oh, truth. West Coast of the U.S. right now is prime time for Roll20 logons. All right. So, this appears to be someone's private worship chamber. Oh, uh, you can... I presume that that someone now lies in a pile of goo outside. Interesting, everyone. Don't you think that all of this was already here under the villa etched in stone? Um, I wonder how long this family has been trafficking with well, devils. And that the Van Tamfors began their careers by being runners underneath the sewers of the city. There's I turn. Room. Go ahead. I was going to say, I turn back to my parents and say, as soon as you get out, you need to track down uh, Australis and Shasar. Sh Sh Thank you. Uh, and, and tell them about the Van Thampors and what they've been doing. We can't just walk into the upper city. Australis and I have been in contact recently. Say that I sent you. Have her send a palanquin. <laughs> Write a letter if you must. <laughs> Um, you know that you are currently in the upper city, so oh, yeah. going into the upper city won't be a problem. You won't even need one of those palin conveyances. Hey, listen, you guys. <laughs> uh, what can we tell about this altar? All right, this is, it's a room by is lit by um, um, these two iron um, candelabras that have uh, continual flames cast upon them because they are not emitting any heat. But again, continuing with the nine candle theme, um, there is a altar that is carved from a single block of obsidian right next to you, Silas, has clawed feet digging into the stone floor. And on it, there is a flame erupting from it in the shape of an angel. What type of angel? Was, did um, it match the statue it, outside? A hot one. It, it is angel shaped. <laughs> it is on fire. It is on fire. It is angel shaped, and uh, you could make a perception check to see the the details. This is not like somebody has carefully crafted a uh, image in flame. It's just a flame that looks to be obviously <clears throat> magically constructed to be angel shaped. Seventeen perception. Yeah, it, it is looks like an angel. It's hard to tell <clears throat> specifically if it is. Are there any symbols, runes, infernal writing, anything Nothing of the like sort? That. No. Sean, stupid question. Um, as a dragonborn an investigation check. Go ahead. Oh, oh is it is it possible for me to use like a uh, a very like minor version of my breath weapon without expelling the the attack version of it? Like a small. It would depend on what it is you're looking for. 
um, you know, try to breathe a little bit of ice to see if it does anything to the flame. Uh, yeah, I'll allow that. Okay, that. Um, it has no effect. Okay. It's definitely not normal flame. Okay. Sorry, and what was the investigation, investigation check? For? You were asking if there was anything. I saw there was altar. another investigation checkup, so I didn't know. Five. I don't Five. even see the altar anymore. <laughs> the altar, altar appears to be just what you see. I rolled an eighteen. I'm just looking at an eighteen. Around well, it. with your nineteen passive perception, uh, so 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 in, interesting. Perception is different from investigation. What is your passive investigation? Passive is the the blue blue. It's fourteen. Fourteen. <laughs> Would he get a plus five if it was with his yes. advantage from sight? Or mm-hmm. investigation versus thing? perception? No. If he's got advantage on investigation with sight, would he have a... I think you get a bonus, but you get a bonus. Anyway. All right, 19. All right, let's try to see if this one works. There we go. You find another secret door. Nice. I'm not even looking at it, and I'll say, Falco, there's a secret door over there. I'm I'm not even in the room, actually. (laughs) Um, So I didn't notice that bit. Having... (laughs) So, so ready to take quick quick to take a dig god love you Jax so having picked up the war hammer uh, I look over at Persephone who is still in the room with me um, and I say having just healed you and then see you throw yourself into the fray against a demon where you didn't have anything but common steel to defend yourself I had a spell I think this might suit you better and I pull out quietus and I put it in her hands. What uh, is it? A dagger? It's a no, it is sword. a long sword. It's a long sword, but we could we could have we could do interesting things with that when we have a moment to rest. Hmm. Hmm. All right. Um, Fulcrum, as you touch the haft of the hammer, the light goes out. But it doesn't like instantly wink, wink out. It slowly dims. But not when Jax was holding it. Not when Jax is holding it. Yeah. You're not a true hero like Jax. <laughs> you got yeah, to be a goblin. It, a goblin. it checks hero your references for dead imps. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> Sorry, um, how many dead imps do you have in your history? <laughs> I see. I'm the Next. goblin slayer of justice. That's why I liked me. Uh, I'm going to destroy the altar. All right, it's made of obsidian. What are you going to use to destroy it? A magic glaive. All right, that was it. <laughs> um, it doesn't destroy super easily, but I'm, as you I'm, hack into it with your glaive, it's obvious that the obsidian will break before the sword does. I'm not trying to uh, just pulverize it into dust. I just want to deface. to deface it. Just to make it stop having an angel on fire. Very good. After about six or seven strikes, the flame does go out. I'm taking some obsidian bits. Oh, I could probably sell this. Should we check this door? And Let's I'm... check the door that Jax just told us about. Yeah, make a perception check. <laughs> yeah, I'm not even looking. I told you where it was. I haven't told you exactly where it is. I'm so right in... Uh, I, I tried to meta that for you. Lumps of uh, lumps of obsidian in my backpack. I check it out at a 24. Does it look okay? Um, in like, Investigation it does not appear to be trapped. All right, let's open it. No idea how to spell obsidian, but that'll do. Oh God, more sewers. <laughs> obsidian. It's obsidian. <sighs> no, that smell anywhere. As you look out, those of you with dark vision, those of you with dark vision, as you look out, you can see that this part down here looks like it is barred closed. Which part down where? Because I'm we were so sorry. Yeah. Um, down here, the part that you can see. I see. So if we go straight south down the tunnel, you will run. We can see bars. that it only runs for about thirty or forty feet, becoming to uh, solid bars which cover the entire passageway. Correct. So that's effectively a dead end. Do we want to check this other secret door? I was going to say, go up to the one that's. Oh, who's that? Who's that? Hiding I was, was going to say. That's right. No, 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 no. no. We don't on, see guys. them. Come on, guys. We'll yeah. check out the other secret door. Uh, good. Given that this is opened out into the sewer, 
I'm going to hang out at the door, just kind of looking around. All right. Because I'm a, really paranoid about guards. Make a perception check. As stated earlier, as I'm rolling, everyone would know we're here somewhere. 15 perception. You hear the sound of... <laughs> And he's saying something in a language you don't understand, and it is coming from your right. I go back in and close the secret door. I I go. close the door. <laughs> the door is closed. <laughs> Come on, Ryan. Did I, I close the door? Oh, I know. Absolutely. <laughs> what, wait, what door? <laughs> the secret All right. door. All right. Did I? Sean, did I hear that as well? What? Um, I was, well, I mean, I I heard everybody say they were going back into the room. Were you? Oh, right I'm there? sorry. I had I had stayed. He was right, right next to me. Yeah, I was right next. She then was. You they definitely they were heard. Right next to me. You definitely yeah. heard, and the voice sounded like it was speaking in Infernal. There's someone down here. I can smell them. They're mine. Uh-oh. I closed well, the door. <laughs> well, that's. Not good. All right, so the other secret door appears to open into a very small passageway. I'll go first. And I will mm. check as I'm going. All right, make an uh, investigation check with advantage. 22. No traps. And you reveal a staircase, a uh, ladder leading up. Oh, oh look, it's a ladder. It might be a way out. I'll go and check for them. All right. Make an investigation check. 19. There don't appear to be any traps. You get to the top of it, and there is a just a piece of stone right above you. It's like a flagstone that has just been put over an opening. It's like very a heavy. Manhole. Make a... Uh, an athletics check. But I start like showing my weak muscles again, like I just did with the thing. I'm going to roll natural one now, by uh, just so you know. Twenty four nope. natural <laughs> twenty. <laughs> you a beast. I Superman punch it out of the way. <laughs> the fury of this now. <laughs> oh my god! It just crumples into dust. It's just I gone. can't imagine how this happens, but um, somehow you were able punch to brace yourself. You sort of. You sort of lean over backwards and you put your hands um, on your standing on your head. You put your hands against <laughs> the uh, the ladder and you push it up with your legs and it just goes, goes it goes over and you hear this. What the hell is that? Oh. And somebody comes over and there's a jab of something wooden going underneath and it's now pried open. Oh, great. Who's down there? I have Jack's. The Are you? It's a goblin, you piece of crud! You hear uh, running away? Oh, is he running away? Are they? What, what is it? Is he running away? Then a step comes back, and he's got a pitchfork. He starts <laughs> down here. Um, he's going to make an attack roll against you. Is is a pitchfork the same as a trident, the most powerful weapon on the planet? I've or he could see, you know, like the cat under the door with a with I a hand. Imagine, I can't imagine dagger at him. that he's gonna that he's gonna do very well. But yeah, he rolled a seven. <laughs> oh, miss he's that. got this. Uh, he's got this thing. You're just dodging out of the way as it comes down. Back hey, off, you little piece of crap! I'll, I'll climb out. Down in there. Back off, or I'll cut your ankles. Oh, you try. It. You just try it. <laughs> can I climb out? Um. Uh, yeah, I'll, we'll I'll tell the you, others I'm uh, going there. So I, I imagine the rest of us have heard something, or at you least... just hear you hear some, yeah, you know, just growling, and you hear a grunting, and you hear the sound of stone scraping, and now it sounds like there's an attack happening. I'm like, back off! How about you want to buy some obsidian? <laughs> you get the hell out of my stables! Oh, oh. shall we get? the people out i disarm him can i disarm him well, you are, so you're still so you want to crawl and scramble out yeah 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 i want to disarm, All right. disarm uh, him. Uh, yeah that is i will say that we are, you're still using the residuals of your natural 20 on that uh <laughs> athletics check you're able to sort of worm your way out and you 
you wedge the, the flagstone that is covering this hole to the side a more. So now it's only half covering it and you spring out and you are in fact in a stables. It appears to be um, around mid midday and there is just this irascible man with a you know, roomy eyes and scraggly beard. He's wearing overalls and but doesn't look like he's wearing a any shirt underneath it. There's uh, four horses in the corner just and just hay all over the place and he's got a wide eye and he's got this um, his pitchfork at God he's like you I've just this, stay away from got this tiny horses. little needle dagger yeah you just stay back you like uh, you stay back as well uh, he's just circling around you Rim is gonna pop out of the uh, pop out of the ladder and- nine hells yeah, and, and we're gonna get you gonna, like a he, lizard. No, he's just, he just puts his hand on Jax and he looks at the man and he growls, run. Yeah, run. <laughs> <laughs> no, you'll eat the horses. And he goes, he takes his pitchfork and he goes, and he the stands pitchfork. by the horses, yeah. he's just guarding them with his eyes wide. Uh, where, are we? where are we? Where are we? Uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do an unarmed strike to non-lethal damage. I don't, I don't like to this guy out. He sees you coming. He's gonna try to attack you. That's fine. <laughs> Shall I got you? Fourteen? Uh, no, no. <laughs> but, 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 well, well, well. Valiant effort. Yes, though. yes. Um, uh, <laughs> sorry for the delay. It's the. the I understand. I, all I, have, the I have access no, to I love, nothing. I love the bravest stable keep in all of Baldur's Gate. <laughs> uh, that would be a that would be a, a twenty seven. <laughs> that, that's a for, hit for uh, for non lethal six bludgeoning damage. <laughs> Boom. <laughs> Physic, jog his memory. <laughs> yes, yes. Jogged, he falls jogged him too hard. Over unconscious. Uh, uh, sort of like look at him and look at you. Yeah. Um, call yeah. the brute squad. Um, I'll yeah. use. I'll, I will. Uh, I will try to calm the horses and I'll whisper down the ladder to uh, bring Persephone's parents. I looked, up. I looked at the horses and you lot are lucky as well. I've got a bag full of meat downstairs. When- when we came down, we saw that there was a stable, but it was inside the Von Thampur compound, that correct? That is correct. Yes. They okay. still have to get out. Yeah. So I will communicate this information. Yeah. It's and you said not a way out. Oh, it's not a way out. You do, I you mean, do. It's, it's a way out of the sewers. It's a way yeah. out of the sewers, but we still have to get them out of the compound and then also back down to you know, a, a safe spot for them because they're currently but, in the upper city. May I say, we're not done here yet. There's I, still I should this... say so. We're still looking for Thaddeus ah, Krieg. Thank you. Yes, there's still the matter of this one to investigate. Just wanted to find a, a safe place for her parents. Uh, uh, what about that private chapel? It's hidden behind secret doors. It seems like it was only used by Thalmara herself. Perhaps they could remain hidden if they're quiet. What about this one? Should I cut him? There is something currently hunting us in the sewers. What? I mean, Silas and I heard something as uh, as we were by the secret door out of the chapel into the sewers. Itself. Silas is still back there in that room. Okay. Uh, so when she when Persephone hears that, she says, "Let's get them all to safety right away." Goes into the secret chamber, including Sissa, right? Because Sissa right, yes. and the mm-hmm. parents she, are the yes, only left. Course. Yes, uh, we, will, we will be very quiet. And then when they all have kind of huddled somewhere, I cast Minor Illusion to put um, what looks like the altar kind of at a different place Monica. so that they can hide behind it. She, so she sits down and she puts her hands in her lap and she looks at your mom and then says, so, what do you know of the crying god. <laughs> <laughs> and Bye. I believe that we will stop there for the I evening. was going to say, being a left alone upstairs with that stable guy, I'm going to drag him down the hole. Here, you're no. coming with us. <laughs> no, you're coming you're, with me, buddy. <laughs> you'll tell everyone that we're here. I'm going to drag him down and like literally kick him down the hole. Nibble on his calf a little bit. All right, he falls down the hole. 
and then oh, I'll God. close the thing back up. But I'm going to allow it so I can lift it easy or it could be moved easy. Okay. Uh, do you want other people to be able to see it? No. We should put it back in place. Yeah, just I'll so, put it back yeah. in place then, yeah. Okay. I mean, besides, it was so easy for you to lift it the first time. It's like not that big of yeah. a I'll All right, go down so and you've ask. got a stable hand crumpled at the bottom of this ladder. Yeah, I'm going to go and ask Falcon if he can put my ribs back in place and my spine back in place after lifting it. <laughs> <laughs> and with Thalamra Van Thampur defeated, dead, dead. and the those of your uh, friends and loved ones that you could rescue, rescued. Maybe. Uh, the, well, for, for now, indeed. The adventurers leave them in the safest place they can find and continue into dun, dun, dun. sewers underneath Van Villa. Oof. 